All right, hello everyone, and surprise to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Um, let me pl please know if you hear me. Am I heard? Uh, give me one if you can hear me to be sure that everything is fine from your side. Do you hear me, guys? Just I wanted to be sure. All right, that's wonderful. Now, uh, today I um, uh, somebody post a comment uh, from this uh, kid. <clears throat> now there is an there is a there is an issue with Muslim kids who they try to present themselves as people who know Islam and they can defend Islam. This guy, his name is Al Al Bayaya Al Al Bayana. Uh, his real name is uh, Tarzan, uh, Tarzan. I mean, sorry, uh, Ramazan, Ramazan. I think he's a Turkish guy. So Ramazan, he always make videos and talk to himself. And usually he even don't allow comment, but because here there's nothing he's talking about. So he allow comment. But usually if you go to his videos, always his videos have no comment. However, in this video, he is challenging me to debate him. And it's very funny. I mean, they speak to them, to, the, to themselves, talk to themselves, challenge them, challenged by themselves but nobody call me okay I accept I I do, I do not need to accept my friend just call me anytime you want what do you mean you challenge me what do you mean you challenge me I was almost every day for the last three four months every day on air every day yet the Abduls cannot find me and now they want to challenge me challenge me what are you what are you waiting for <laughs> so I post for him this comment here uh open invite to all muslims text me on skype be the man i will be waiting for you in fact i cannot wait <laughs> till you prove you mean what you said to debate me uh, but all knows that you are just a kid not a man enough to call me to beat and uh, no, call me here you go tomorrow i will be actually now i am on air now not tomorrow but he now he he might be asleep. Okay, so we will not say this is accepted for now to say okay he did not call you. Uh, uh, but what about tomorrow? Tomorrow three thirty. I left the link as you see in the front of him in his page. This is his page. Be a man. Call me. And I like it when he posts in his videos a camera at all those books. Like supposedly he want to prove to us that he is a guy of knowledge. As we do all those books, and my friend, you remind me uh, the Quran is, uh, spoke about people like you. There is a verse in the Quran. <clears throat> Actually, you remind me of this girl here. Hold on. A lot of books. A lot of books. <laughs> yeah, my friend, you can have many books as as you want, but still, the Quran is spoke about people like you. Look what your Quran said about you, who speak about our books. Here we go. <clears throat> Not me. You see, actually, they say, look at the Holy Spirit he have. He called people donkeys. He called people donkeys. If you call people donkeys, the Holy Spirit, you don't have Holy Spirit. You are not a good Christian. Okay, are you a good Muslim if you call people do donkeys? Chapter, uh, chapter 62, verse number 5, it says that the similarity of Ramadan is the same, the likeness of donkeys who carry books, carry the Torah in the top of their back. Do you see it? Do you see it? Oh, let me show you in German. This guy, he don't, uh, I don't know how much English he knew. Let us go to German. So when you speak against Christian prince, you say Christian prince is calling Muslims donkeys. It's Quran calling you donkeys. And I know you will say the Quran here don't mean the Muslims. Yes, the Quran means the Muslims because Muhammad, if he carried the Torah in his back, but he cannot read it, does that mean he's a donkey? Yes. How Muhammad knew what it, what is exists in the, in the Torah if he cannot read the Torah? Now, what is the German? Let us see. German, German. Uh, okay, Dutch, Dutch, German. Uh, did we pass it? Yeah, here we go. Does it say in German that similarity of people like you are the same as a donkey? Hmm? So call me tomorrow. Prove to me that you are not a donkey. Who make a sound but nobody understand? 
I know you want to be like a hero in the Muslims, what all the Muslims do. Oh, we challenge Christian friends like this guy is deposit articles in many websites. We challenge Christian friends, the coward, where is he? But they never call me. Okay, give me your Skype, I will call you. <laughs> give me your Skype, post your Skype here. Down the text, uh, I post the link for him as you see in his in his channel. Post your text here in Skype and tomorrow I will show everybody when I am calling live. Hmm? Be a man. I mean, what what do you mean you want to debate me? You talk, you 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 point you point your video at your uh, uh, shelves and you say I'm a debate Christian prince and Amir Arbur. And uh, what, no, we, we, I do not need Amir. I, you bring all the Muslims with you, all Tarzan. Not only I don't want Tarzan, all the Tarzan, huh? And take off your clothes, and I will be happy to have you call me. But all of us, we knew. That you do not mean it. You are just trying to look like a hero in front of the Muslims. So maybe you can get a four four Muslim girls to to have a date with you. But it doesn't work because all the Muslims now they will ask you, okay, here we go. The guy is waiting for you. Why you don't call him? You see how embarrassing it is. Why you say you want to debate me if you don't mean it? All Muslims are welcome to call me. All Muslims. Tarzan. James Bond, potato, tomato. We challenge Mimi Hijab. Mimi Hijab, he is wearing his veil. He cannot show up. We challenge Ali Dawa, the coward. He never show up. We challenge Zakir Naik and those people, people like Zakir Naik. He knew, not like those Mimi Hijab and those kids. You know those kids. But let we we have no problem to have them in, in our shelf just to for display. Yet they will never dare to call us. I mean, name one Muslim. I did not challenge him. To call me and he and he did. They are covered, they are potatoes. Uh so they make videos in German, speaking to the German, Muslim who speak German. I blur the Christian Prince. I challenge to debate the Christian Prince, Christian Prince, Christian Prince, and here we go. And now he he is uh, he he think that Christian Prince will never heard hear about this uh, video. <laughs> I challenge the Christian Prince. I challenge him. By the way, I do not know what he said in the video. It's in German. I don't know. Nobody translate for me. But somebody posted in the link under my video saying uh, Ramazan is challenging you. Really? And what he is waiting for? Ramazan. Tomorrow, 3.30 p.m., we have already scheduled live video. We will be live on air. Let us see is Tarzan. If he is a Tarzan or he is Tarzana, which means a female Tarzan. If he is a Tarzan, he will call me and he will be the man. If he is a female Tarzani, then this is not my problem, my friend. Female Tarzan who have a lot of books in his shelf. Well, I'm so glad you bought them. Is that something you took, you bought yourself or you stole from the mosque? Because the mosque always suffer from missing books. You know, or the Muslim, they go to the library and they borrow books, but they never, never return it back. And you know that, right? Now, I will be waiting for Amir Arbur, Christian Prince. And here we go. Everybody witness. I inviting you tomorrow. Okay. I'm inviting you to call me tomorrow. I post for you. I post my Skype uh, ID for you. Here we go. You see it? So you have no excuse. Give me your Skype. I, I will call you. I know your mom, she said to you, you cannot call a Christian Prince. So we don't want to break the, the, the your mom order. I will call you. Give me your Skype. Okay, you see my Skype? Okay, give me your Skype and I will call you. And I promise you, I will not tell mama about what happened. What happened in Vegas will stay in Vegas. Anyone else? And look, this is by the way, I translated the page into English in Google translation to see what they are talking. Uh, Amir, uh, uh, dirty, or uh, he will not debate Christian princes. I mean, what, we would debate. I, I'm here. Leave Amir alone. I am here. I do not need Amir. What Amir? <laughs> I'm glad you smashed these colorless, shapeless shapes. Just uh, uh, in one sentence, we love and believe you, brother. In one sentence, he smashed us. <laughs> Take Hamadi from Fitra, Dawa, Muhammad Hijab up debate. Already taking my uh, what Mikhail, I mean, and and David would uh, uh, apart. 
I cannot, and I mean, why those Muslims can take everybody apart except me? I mean, what's wrong? You take David Wood apart? Okay, why you don't take me apart? <laughs> By the way, Muhammad Hijab, Mimi Hijab, he said that for 4,000 years, your the Jewish, they never worship anyone except as instructed one God, which means the Quran did lie. So Mimi Hijab, my friend, he got your prophet busted. He's a liar. Not Muhammad Hijab is a liar. Your prophet is a liar because he is the one who said you can go watch the video. Same time he said uh, that Allah he prayed for, not to, which is something lovely. Really, Mimi Hijab, he did a lot of fantastic job. And uh, we learned from Mimi Hijab that uh, Elijah, I mean, God is with us. <laughs> and <laughs> uh, that improved our Hebrew and our Arabic too. After he corrected us and he told us, Allah, he pray for not to. Uh, Ramazami, Allah, strength you. You, mashallah, every time you unmask and humiliate Amir uh, again. <laughs> yes, he called for a debate earlier. I'm looking forward for it. Uh, he does not if he does not accept then he is really a hypocrite. Okay. Why you want to debate Amir my friend? No, I you debate me debate me Amir he says it clearly he learned from a Christian prince, right? He is an ex-muslim. He is not an expert I am the one he learned from me and he says that always so debate debate the one who you think he is the big problem Not Amir. I am the problem if you can destroy Christian prince, brother, that's it. Amir is 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 a history, brother. All right. So don't worry, don't for, don't worry about Amir. I, I'm waiting for you. Uh, the two are liars. Will say 100% no. They are two covered hiding behind the computer. Well, I I look at the whole video. I did not even see your friend. I saw only shelves. And by the way, when he saw his uh, table, he saw us cats. Anyway. Bunch of Abdul is talking to themselves, making a challenge by themselves, and nobody even heard. CP is a coward. Otherwise, he would show his face. Ah, so Allah, he did not show his face. He must be a coward. <laughs> by the way, the Quran says that Allah, he never spoke except from behind the veil. In case you don't believe me, let me show you, my friend. Here we go. Uh, in case you do not know, the last name of Mimi Hijab is exist in the Quran. And actually, even Mimi Hijab said the Christian prince, he have a problem with Burqa. He don't want to show his face. And he said, maybe he is not even real. You know, here we go. Chapter 42, verse number 51. It says, Allah never spoke except from behind the veil. So are you saying Allah is a coward? And why you want to see my face, you, 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 you idiot? I like it this way. Like right now, I'm sitting wearing my short. And my hair is all over the place and I scared everybody around me and nobody can see me that's the best what's your problem are you are you uh, ah, you are like the prophet you like to kiss men in their belly I got it all right <laughs> all right we go back to text it's just uh, like a comedian may Allah reward you abundant abundantly and may Allah forgive Amir and Christians and show true, true way, Allahumma aminu. They don't believe in it, and it it done on them. Example: former open gate from heaven. What Surah Al Hajr? Uh, stupid talk. Amir is fatherless. They are Iranian Shia. Ah, okay. Uh, Mashallah, you invest too much strength, brother. You know, you see the Muslims, they are praising him for, for what? This guy did not even debate me. He never called me. <laughs> and he is he a hero for them. <laughs> okay, Abdul. So tomorrow we will see if your potato, he will call. If you don't call, that means he is a liar. I can call him. See, he have no excuse. He do not need to call me. Give me your Skype. Give me your Skype. And let me show you my Skype on the screen for those who will see the video later. This is my Skype. Let us show it in the screen. So don't tell me you do not know what is my Skype. Here we go. I posted in the text there, and now it's shown in the in, in the screen in the corner in my broadcast. Here we go. Here I I showed my Skype. So you don't have any excuse. Text me to my Skype. 
or leave under my video this video the one I'm making right now your Skype ID and I will call you live tomorrow be a man and accept the challenge you made and by the way I am the one who made many challenge for this potato many times before so what happened now let me tell you what happened two days ago I made a video for a guy his name is Fetra and I smashed him and I made him shish kebab and I challenge him to call me and be a man and debate me live debate they will never do so as usual so now this guy he felt so so much humiliated Islam got busted the Muslims are drinking the piss of the Prophet the Muslims fighting about the poopoo -poo over the poopoo -poo of the camel of Aisha the Muslims are fighting over the, the boogers of Muhammad and over his snot and wiping his face with it the Prophet taking a shower uh, uh, in a dirty water have dead dogs and one of blood from period and etc 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 and because they got humiliated so he said we have to do something about it christian prince he challenged us all of us to debate so we have to do something let me make a video christian prince he will not understand it anyway he don't speak german and i will say in this video i challenge christian prince and who care nobody listening right now we listen my friend we are waiting for you bring your mama bring your daddy bring tarzan with you ramazan with you bring uh, mimi hijab with you bring ali dawa with you bring all muslim with you bring Fifi, Mimi, Susu, Dudu, Bibu, all the Muslim Abdul. And don't, don't worry, you know, what happened in Vegas will stay in Vegas, all right? So we, we will wait for you. We will not waste more time with this kid. Now, uh, <clears throat> uh, the Muslims, they have many books around them. But the most important book is the Quran they cannot even read it this guy is a Turkish he do not know Arabic I saw him once trying to read Arabic he looks so funny and so dummy they don't even know how to read Quran or to read Arabic but anyway we will see if they mean what they say uh, and uh, you know guys I am I'm busy reading with the, the translating the Quran and I'm doing my best to finish it as uh, fast as I can and actually, I'm glad that I'm taking like a little bit off uh, YouTube because every day, every day broadcast for many hours is not easy. And it's time consuming and uh, shouting, screaming with those crazy people is not easy. Uh, we have already in YouTube thousands of videos, debate. You can watch them and you can learn and you see how stupid Islamic cult is. Uh, as an example, you know, just yesterday, when if you remember, uh we have a muslim abdul who called me yesterday and that is showing you the the stupidity of this cult i cannot find seriously i cannot find the one muslim he have a, any kind of intellect to even talk to him for five minutes uh yesterday we have this abdul let me see what is the <clears throat> Okay, let's see here. When the Abdul called me yesterday. <laughs> Terms and conditions. Look what your prophet is about academic debate. Do you want to see the academic debate according to Islam? Let me show you. When you speak about academic, how come you don't ask your prophet to be academic? This is chapter 3, verse number 61. When the Christians, they came to debate him, he said, bring your wives, I bring my wives, I bring your children, I bring my children, bring your goat, I bring my goat, and let us curse Allah, ask Allah to curse the one is lying. This is an academic debate according to Islam. Do you see it? Abdul, do you see it? Have you ever heard of a debate like this? Bring your laptop, I bring my laptop, bring your car, I bring my car, bring your goat, I bring my car, bring I got, bring your donkey, I bring my donkey, bring your Abdullah, I bring my Abdullah, bring your wives, I bring my wives, I bring your children, I bring my children, bring your niece, I bring my niece, bring your nephew, I bring my nephew, I bring your cousins, I bring my cousins, bring yourself, I bring myself, and the most important, he forgot to bring himself, I mean, this is very good. He did, he did not forget to say, bring yourself too. It's going to be horrible if he said not, all of those are coming, but not yet you. And this is a debate. This is academic debate according to Islam. And now let us do, let, let, let us do it in Islamic way. You're telling Christian, Prince, 
مي قال كات ماي نوز اف ام لاين يور تيرن مي قال ميك ماي شورت اف ام لاين اوكي يور تيرن مي قال هيت مي ان ماي اف ام لاين يور تيرن ذس از ا ديبيت This is a coward. He have no answer. He's trying to run away from debating them. And Abdul talking about academic debate. Why don't ask your God Allah to be smart a little bit when he speak about debate? Yeah, a Facebook chat is possible. Anyway, just ignore him. He's a kid. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you very much for being here. As I said, I'm not going to stay long okay. today. Now, Please I, download the now, video uh, around. And a guy will call us, you know, a Muslim Abdul will call us to see when he called me. What time he called yesterday? Nothing less. Somebody saying, show us the how oh. or like a copy. Where the Abdul he called me? He is dead now. He left Islam too. Yes or no? no, no, no. Uh, okay, how, here we go. Now we have Abdul call me. Here, here you will see. He will see uh, the 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 lack of IQ of those who call themselves Muslims. Listen carefully and laugh. <coughs> Hello. Yes, you can hear me. Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Are you a Muslim, my friend? Yeah. Okay. I want to ask you a question about Christianity. Yes, but you are a Muslim, right? Yes, I'm Muslim. Okay, you want to ask me about what? Go ahead. Yes, I want to ask you, do you serve Jesus? Yes, I do. What about you? You yeah, serve? Okay. Do, do you serve Jesus or Allah? No, no, look, I serve Allah. Uh, who, who, is, who is Allah? You, who is Allah? You serve a man. Okay, who is Allah? Who is Allah? You, it's the creator. How you know he's a creator? Do you have a proof that he's a creator? Your Allah, your Allah is a man. Okay, hold on. Jesus is a creator too. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jesus in the Quran is a creator, isn't it? The Quran says that Jesus created from the bird, from the from the mother bird. What you mean? The Quran says that Jesus is created from the mother the bird. Yes or no? No, no, no. Jesus is not God. He is a missing. No, no. I asked you who is your God. You, listen, listen. I asked you who is your God. You said the Creator, but the Quran says that Allah. No, no. Jesus is not God. It says in the whole Bible. But you are the one who said to me. Hold on. You are the one who listen to me. You are the one who said to me. I asked you who is your God. He said. You said the Creator, but Jesus in the Quran, He's a Creator too. Okay. Let me ask you. No, no. Why you want to change the topic? You you open a topic. Let's finish, my friend. And same time, same time, same time, hold on, same time, same time, you Muslims, same time, you Muslims believe in how many creators you believe? Look, you said you believe, you believe Jesus is God. Yes. Okay, you serve Jesus, yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, the Bible says, just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. Mm. In Matthew 20, 28. Okay. Now, why do you say you serve Jesus when the Bible says don't? Well, because Jesus, he said in the same, in the same chapter, if you want to be my follower, you have to serve. To be the master, you have to be the servant. So for him, he was. He's oh, read the verses before it, my friend. Don't take, don't take the things out of contact. You know the the, the, the stupid game. So so he told them. He told them if you want to be the first, you, if you want to be the first, you have to be the last. If you want to be the first, if you want to, if you want, if you want to be like me, if you want to be like me, I am your master. I'm your lord. If you want to be like me, then you have to serve. I came to serve to serve us. Uh, let let me ask you. When Allah He provide you with uh, with wine in the heaven, who is the one serving the wine to you? Is it Allah or you? It's not me. It can be a servant. No, no. But who is the one who provide you the the wine? It can be young boy. No, no. Who is the one who provide you the 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 boy? The boy. You just said young boy, right? Okay, perverted cult. Now I'm asking you, who is the one who provide the wine? Who is the one who made the wine for you? Who is the one who made the wine? Please don't change topic. Who is the one who will make the wine for you? The wine, there's no alcohol in it. This, this is not the question. Yeah, it's a wine, but there's no alcohol, guys. <laughs> this is not the question. Who is the one who will make the wine? Brother, brother, in the heaven of Allah, we have alcohol-free wine. <laughs> and look how they jump like monkeys from a topic to topic to topic to topic. They have to run forward. 
they know they, they they usually they throw a question at you as a Christian and now you start quoting for them from the Bible right they are not used to Christian prince who smash them right away from their book so listen carefully and love wine for you wine it can it can be there in general it can be this is not a question who is the one who made the wine for you my friend the question is very simple who is the one who will make the wine for you what is the point I, I have a point to it. Just tell me who is the one who made the wine. Okay, you can ask also who will make the honey. Yeah. You can ask also who will make the honey. I can ask also who is going to make the falafel. <laughs> you see, they are scared to say, to give the answer. This is why they say, what's your point? They want to they wanna know the point before they get in trouble and say the answer. Because is, if they say answer, now it's going to be too late to deny it. You know what I mean? So he wouldn't know what the point. He's afraid. That's why always Muslims say to me, "What's your point? What's your point?" That, that, just uh, give me the answer. Then you will know my point. No, give me a point first, so we can deny it. We can play games. Yeah, the same. Who's the, who make the honey? Yes, who make, who make who make the honey for you there? Allah makes the honey. Thank you. That is a service. Finally, we made him say who make it. Isn't it? This is a service. So Jesus serve your God. Allah serve to Allah right now in heaven, according to Islam. He is soft in the skin of Muslim women. Each one of them, it take 1,000 years for Allah to soften her skin. This is how slow your God is. Look like he is soft in her skin by his tongue. <laughs> 1,000 years to finish it. And you Muslim, you say to me that uh, if Allah wants something to say to be, is say be? What is be? 1,000 years just to soften her skin. So how long is it going to take him to make her have a big boobs? Unbelievable. Service. So you are saying to me how Jesus serve, but your God is going to serve you in heaven. He will make wine for you. Ah, he will make honey for you. According to you, according to you, your God is a cook in heaven. He make honey. He make wine for you. He spent the whole day in the kitchen just cooking for you. What kind of God he is? See, you are the one change the topic. You are the one who called me to say is how you serve, my friend. You see, a Muslim. The second, the second he, he ask a question, he can't stand for his question. This is the question you ask me. Why why you reject Jesus to serve us? Why you reject Jesus to serve us? And look what how he served. He washed the feet of his followers, saying, You have to be humble. Your God, supposed he is God, he is the creator. But now, right now in heaven, he is soft in the skin of women for you, so you had have sex with them. Okay, let me say something. Mm. Your God in the Bible, he says in the Bible, I can of my own self do nothing. Mm. I can do nothing. Mm. Is, is is this God? Okay. Okay. What in the in the same chapter he says too that he is he is the one who created everything. So you you choose you choose whatever you like. I he is saying to them from my own I am me the man in front of you. He can do nothing. So I am not the man. The man who is doing this is God. So we we Christians we believe in God who came to us as a man. The form of the man can do nothing, but God in the man he can do everything. So he is saying in the same time they said to him they said to him. Why you don't show us the father show us the father he said to them i am with you all this time and you do not recognize me the one who saw me he saw the father yes or no 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 what no 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 it's not up to you now let me ask you a question how your god allah look like allah uh, no one knows no your prophet describe him no no now i, I know what you kind of do now you want to say allah has two hands and stuff allah, you want to say all this stuff i am not saying that your prophet he described him as a guys uh, Billah, you will say now Allah have two hands as if it is like it's your prophet you idiot who says that <laughs> Billah, I seek refuge by Allah from Satan you want to say that Allah have two hands are you crazy <laughs> short man with big ass no 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 okay read the hadith for me it's on the screen read the hadith okay read the hadith my friend read the hadith read the hadith it's in front of you and this is Sahih hadith you like to talk about my friend read the hadith this is your prophet saying so not me don't change the topic you you, re you reject jesus as a man but your god allah is a man i am not talking about sex now your, your prophet he said that your pro anyway stupid talk yeah we talk about sex what's wrong with that if sex is bad in islam why why your god allah promised you nothing but sex in heaven you talk about sex all the time because you have nothing in your islam except sex what did you have in islam what exactly Muslims they have in their religion? Nothing. Sex. You pray, you fast, you kill, you you know, you die, you live for what? For sex. What Islam is about? It's a pure sexuality.
nothing there falafel hummus shish kebab and sex river of wine belly dancers so the Muslims even they 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 you know they play the game why you talk about sex as if it is me who's talking about sex if your God and your prophet never mention sex I will never talk about sex now right now as we speak do we have any Muslim have the courage to call me I see some text some people trying to uh, uh, call I want to be sure uh, you know I accept calls from Muslims Don't call me unless you are a Muslim, please. Any Muslim? Anyone? Maybe, maybe any Muslim would like to call me. So they they challenge me. They make a challenge. They want to challenge Christian Prince, etc. And where we go in air, nobody call. Especially those who claim to be uh, people of knowledge. You know, the one who call us is the idiot who do not know two words in Islam. Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Anyone? Kuffar Christians. Yeah, we are Kuffar. We are proud to be Kuffar. We don't want to go and uh, go and kiss a black stone. Mwah. Black stone kiss our pagan. We are Kuffar in paganism. Do you know what Kuffar mean? We are proud to be kuffar. We don't want to be like you, kissing the black stone, going around the stone, bowing in the front of a stone, and everything about your religion is about a stone. And not only you do that, even your brain is a stone time. Now, who is a Muslim want to call me and tell me why he is even kissing the black stone if you are not a pagan? You pray in the direction of a stone. You go around the stone, and even your prophet, he said, if you touch the stone, the stone suck your sin and forgive your sin. Uh, and by the way, yes, you know, the Muslim, they said about the cockroaches attacking the Kaaba. The cockroaches attacking the Kaaba. Okay. Uh, if you see in YouTube, The Muslim comments about the cockroaches attacking the Kaaba. Look, all those videos. Look how look how the ground is covered by cockroaches and insect, all kind of insect and uh, Gerard. Uh, uh, I mean, crazy. But if you look at the at the comment made by the Muslims, you will see the Muslims. They are saying. That the reason for the cockroaches to attack the Kaaba because the Allah is angry from the crown prince for he allowed the music in Saudi Arabia the prophet of Islam he used to have dancers in his house singing for him slaves and now listen just to show you the stupid logic of the Abdul so to understand correctly what you are trying to say because the crown prince he allowed the music in Saudi Arabia in Mecca Allah he sent cockroaches in his house not the house of the crown prince <laughs> have you ever heard of a madness like this the house is the house of Allah what does this have to do with the crown prince if Allah want to show his anger against the crown prince send the cockroaches against the, the house of the crown prince not the house of Allah I mean do you see the stupidity guys do you understand the stupidity Allah is angry from the Muslims. He attacked the Kaaba or he attacked. This is his house. 
So let me make it clear. Allah is angry from a Christian prince. Allah, he sent the cockroaches at the Kaaba and not, not at the house of Christian prince. I mean, do you see how, how high the, the intelligence of the Abdul? Hmm. We have a mistake. Hello? Good morning. Yes. Yeah, this is Abdul, Abdul Karim from Nigeria. Oh, you are from Nigeria. How is Nigeria doing, my friend? Thank God. All right. So you are a Muslim, right, Abdul Karim? Yes, I am a Muslim. What Abdul Karim? What Abdul? Can you can you mute YouTube? Mute YouTube. Okay, I will. Did you mute YouTube? Yes, I am. Hmm. You said your name is Abdul Karim. Abu Abdul Karim. Yeah, what Abdul Karim mean? I got to ask you a question. I know, but you do you know what the, what your name mean? Your name is Abdul I, Karim. What Abdul Karim mean? That's not that that's not the reason why I called. I called. I know, to ask I know, but, but I am just trying to learn from you something. I like your name. I'm trying to know what the name mean. So don't tell me you, you do not know what your name mean. What Abdul Karim mean? You don't. You don't need that. I am no, the I, one I that need it. I need it. I, I, question. I seek knowledge. It's just a simple question. You can ask me your question, no problem. But what Abdul Karim mean? Don't tell me that your name is Abdul Karim, but you do not know what your name mean. Forget the God that it's not your concern. I know. I know. I know, what, okay. I know what my name means. Okay, tell me what your name mean, and go to I the don't question. Need, I, it's not a something that I want to share with you. So, that's so not let us, let that's us, not the reason let why us I make it, it. Let us make it clear. You are a Abdul who do not even know what his name means. Go ahead. What's your it's, question? Yes, my question is this. Mm. Thanks for uh, thanks for picking my call. Mm. <clears throat> Firstly, I would like to thank you for even give a reverence that there's different between Jesus in the Bible mm. and Jesus in the Quran, which uh, which we know as Isa. Mm. I really like it. You are saying the truth because Quran 19, verse 29 to 30. Can you open it for us? Quran what? Quran what? 19. 19. Okay, 19. Verse what? Verse 29 to 30. Okay, what about it? Go ahead. Yes. <coughs> read it, read it, read it. Let's hear yeah, read it. What it says. It says here that uh, Mary is the sister of Aaron. Is that correct? It's not correct. Quran 19. Quran 19. Quran chapter yes. 19. Correct. Quran, Quran 19, verse number 28. It says, O oh, sister of Aaron. Is it true that the mother of Jesus is sister of Aaron? That's, that's not the chapter that I quoted for you. Quran 19. Quran 19. My friend, I'm quoting from Quran 19. Quran 19. I got it. I got it. Yes. This is Quran 19. From, Quran from 19, first, my friend. First, hey, let me hear from first 29 to 30, not That's, 28. What, what, 29 to 30. No problem. Can we read it from 28, please? Starting from there. Why Why the Quran saying that Isa, his mother, is a sister of Aaron? That's not, that's not my... Oh, that's not my point. No Make problem. Okay, no problem. But why he's making such a mistake? Aaron is the brother of oh, Moses. I'm the one that called. I know you I, are the one who called. So what? So what? You know, you always make so, a statement. So do you agree? Do you agree that, that, that Isa is the sister of Aaron? Yes, yes, I do. Okay, that's not my point. 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 Okay, that's what I mean that we mm. learn 19 first 29 to 30. Read that for me. That's what I want. It says what? We learn 19 from 29 to 30. Go ahead. Go read it for us. Go ahead. Read it now. It's in front of you because I got open I don't, it. I don't, I don't actually know how to read. I am illiterate like your prophet. Go ahead. Can't you read anymore? No, I cannot read. I'm, I'm, I am an Arab. We Arab. We don't read. Go ahead. You read it for you me. Don't, it's not that you don't read. No, we are Arab. We don't read. Have you ever heard of an Arab? You read. Your prophet is a prophet, but cannot read. You are, you are funny. So you are calling me, but you do not know want to read for me what you want to quote for me. Read it I, for me. Go ahead. That, that's what, Let me open my plan for you, and okay. I'm going to read that. All okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. 
But I like this Isa. He is his uncle. Okay, his so, uncle is so she. Now nah, I'm ready for you. Hmm. So she pointed to him. They said, "How can we speak to one who is in a kedu, a child?" This was said. Indeed, I am the servant of Allah. Hmm. He has given me the scripture hmm. and made me a prophet. Hmm. Okay. With this now. Okay. With this, okay, let me ask with you. This, let me ask you. With this, when Allah He gave the boy the scriptures, he is this this boy. He is just born. When he get the scriptures, do you know what? I called you. I called you. I, I know. Want to back, I want to back <laughs> so you. So what? So what? You with told me. But with here, the but that here, said that my this was friend. in the Bible. Easy, this was in the Bible. Easy, 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 easy. Why did this was in the uh, in the Quran? Hold on, hold on. It's different. It's okay. different. You just approved to me that Jesus is God. Let me tell you what it says here. You are saying to me that your prophet he waited for forty years to receive revelation, correct? But Jesus, he is born with revelation. Explain to me how this happened. You know what? This this not, this boy this boy you. Abdul this boy is just born. He's a boy. How he have revelation and he just is a boy. You're a prophet waited for forty years and then the angel came to him and he squeezed him on first time and second time and third time and still Muhammad he have no idea what to say and he have no idea what to do. He went to his wife, cover me, cover me, and his wife she covered him and he told her what's wrong with me do you think i'm crazy she took him to her cousin and the cousin of the cousin and the cousin of the cousin and the cousin of the cousin and after all the cousin they told him you must be a prophet here we go jesus is just born he is one second old and yet he says i am born with revelation when he got the revelation please you know what I, I like you because you only divert a question. I like, I like, a question I, question. I like, I like, no, 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 I am not, I am not answering you, you with you the question. To, you don't, I you am don't not, need to me. I am not asking I, question. I'm getting you busted. I'm not asking question. And by the way, I, I like, Abdul, I'm getting you this busted. Not if, Jesus, if Jesus no, is a prophet, Abdul, you are, wait, listen to me. You always say, you always say that this was is God. <laughs> According to your belief, hmm. and now there's somebody that called yesterday and asked you a simple question: that was Jesus Christ a creator? You are quoting from a Quran that Jesus Christ is a creator. Hmm. Why don't you bring a reference come from your Bible? Because the Jesus that you are claiming that God gave a sign that you create a bed and press into it when you open the Quran thing for us, forty-nine to fifty-one, read it out. You will know that it can't do nothing. Jesus in the Quran is quite different from Jesus in the Bible that you claim to be a God. Okay, so are you done? Because when I try to answer, you shout. Yes, continue. I'm listening <laughs> to you. My friend, the Bible says clearly that everything created by him and for him. By him and for him. So Can you, can and, you, can you and, open the verse and, for me? Uh, yes, we can quote for you. Uh, okay, uh, uh, if I show you from the Bible, you will not say to me, I don't believe, or you will say, I believe. Open it. Open it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm ask, you open asking it. you. Open it. Let me see. Okay. I'm asking you, if we go to Corinthians 1.16, it says, For him and by him all things were created, both in heaven and earth. Is that your page? Yes or not? Does it say that? Don't give me seconds. Hmm. Everything in earth and in heaven created by him and for him. Which is invisible and visible. So now what we have from the Quran, from the verse you quote for me, a clear verse saying, that Jesus is the Word of God. He is born and right away he spoke the Word of God. He is not a prophet who waited for an angel to deliver for him a message like Muhammad. He is born and he is the Word of God in the same time, which means Jesus is, is the walking, living, talking Word of God. And that's exactly what the chapter 1, verse number 1 in the Bible, in, 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 in the book of John, it says, that the word was with God and the word is the God. So Jesus is the word of God. He is born and right away he is speaking the word of God. He did not receive it for he is the word of God. He had not been taught for he is the word of God. 
no angel taught him no angel give him no angel appear to him for he is the Lord and he himself is the Word of God and you got yourself busted my friend I have got myself busted okay well explain to me then how Jesus he received the Word of God and he is just born when he got it he got it before he was born or after that's one of the signs of Almighty God I'm asking okay? you, I'm asking you don't let me sign this is a sign of Jesus this is the sign of Jesus himself he is a miracle he is the miracle everybody can do that we, we know that God he do miracle right but only miracle is God God himself is a miracle so he is Jesus, yes. Jesus himself okay. is the miracle he is the miracle he have no father he commit no sin and the second he is born, he is speaking with the authority, and you whoa, are the one, and, whoa, you are, whoa, and you are the one, God, and you God. are the one who called this verse for me, proving to me Islam to be false. Otherwise, you tell me why Jesus did not wait forty years to receive a message from God, but your prophet waited forty years. You, why you, Jesus you, may, you may mention of something now mm. that Jesus Christ was pure. That Jesus was pure. Was what? Hey, was pure. Was pure. Was holy. Holy. Yes, he was holy. Yes. Are you sure that this was this was, was holy? Absolutely. Are you Just saying, open, are, are you saying we'll get, okay? We'll okay, we'll hold on. Right okay, we'll hold on. Right hold on. The, the same chapter you gave me, it says Jesus is holy. What we'll gave right to Jesus? Abdul, Abdul, the same Where chapter. You hold are on. Putting, what you are putting? So, a, so I'm for quoting you. the Quran, Quran because you. because this is your Quran. You believe your Quran. If I show you my Bible, you will say I don't believe anyway. Here we go. This is your see, Quran. This see. Is your, See, what's from the Bible? Your because Quran, to your believe. Quran, that's you your Quran. Can, you, don't shout. You can't say anything in don't the Bible. Don't shout, Abdul. Don't shout. That don't shout. Jesus is God. The Bible has tons of verses saying Jesus never commits sin, and the Quran saying that Jesus is Holy Son. He is the Holy Son of who? I have a question for you. I am the one asking the question now. Who is Jesus? Why he is holy? Why the, the why the Quran the says that this why the Quran why the Quran you are, you are, you are lying my friend you are lying I, I'm showing you the Quran this is against even your Quran are you accusing your God Allah to be a liar Allah is not a liar so but so why the Bible, Quran hold on don't tell me according holy. to my Bible this is a lie don't lie now I'm asking you if the Quran confirmed that Jesus is holy so what's your problem it's only according to Quran. And this Quran that you are seeing, you understand? That so you are saying to me, okay, let, let, let us hey, make it clear. Hey. Let us make it clear. So you are yes. saying to me that the Quran confirmed that Jesus is holy, but according to your understanding, the Bible says Jesus is not holy, correct? Yes. Which yes. one you believe? What do you say? Which one you believe, the Quran or the Bible? I believe in the Quran. Okay, so the Jesus is holy. So you got yourself busted. Now, so why he is holy if he is just a man? Because Jesus was holy because he's the how he, of God. How he can he be holy? Of God. But That's why I'm making him holy. Hold on, no, no, he can Hold on, but this not is God. God. Only God is holy, my friend. Do you believe he's not, that? He's not only God. All okay, let me ask you. Holy. Let me ask you. Is, is, your, is, your, is your prophet a holy man? Yes or no? He's a holy man. Okay, what if I show you the Quran saying the opposite? What you do? There's, there's no, there's no, bring it reverse art. Okay. And, I'm going, okay. and, and I'm going to give so you are, the are, of it. are you making a challenge for me? Yes, bring it out. Okay, and if I show you what you would do? What I'm going to do? What bring it out, let's read. If I show you what you will do, you will run okay. away or you will accept the Quran saying that your prophet is a big time sinner? It's, it's not a sinner. Okay. The way you interpret it, that's when you okay. make it. I want you, I want you to open for me the Quran, please. Chapter yes. 48, verse number 2. Yes, I'm going to. Why the Quran says that Muhammad is a big time sinner? Where do you see the big time sinner? It's in the front of you. <clears throat> open it. I open it already. It's in the screen. I can't see nothing.
What happened? Do you need to call daddy or mommy? Does it say call that or I'm lying? Interpret it. The Allah, what? that Allah may forgive you. Yeah, he what was this? Allah yes. will forgive him his past and his coming sin. So Allah will forgive yes. him a sin he don't have. <laughs> it says, Allah and open license for sin. So Allah is not only saying he may forgive you for your past sin. No, he will forgive for the coming sin. So Muhammad is a big time sinner. He have an open now, license to now, sin. Can you, can, you, can, you, can you give me proof the kind of sin that uh, Prophet Muhammad have committed when this ayah came out? I don't care. It came out after I think this after he, after why, after, why, after, why, after, why, after he left. Okay, let me answer you. Let me answer you. I think he, it came out can after he left the bathroom. Don't shout! Don't shout! You 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 are, you, you are giving me headache. Hold on! Don't because shout! I like you. I, open. Now I, I, I now I remember. Hold on! You, you asked me when this verse came out. I think it came out after he left the bathroom. That's why I love you. Why you are laughing? Why, 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 why you are laughing? Why, why you are laughing? You don't, you okay. Don't even okay. Hold, hold on, hold on, That's hold on. You... Do you want me to show you the proof? Do you want me to show you the proof? Are you laughing at you? Are, are you laughing at you at me or are you your, your prophet? What are you laughing at? If I show give you the proof, a, give me a grand prize. To okay, here we go. Here we go. This is tafsir. This is not my interpretation, and this is the tafsir saying that your prophet he received the Quran after he go to the bathroom. Why you are laughing? Show respect, my friend. Each time he want to do poo poo. Allah gave him Quran. Read with me. Here we go. This is chapter one, verse number one in the Quran, the first chapter in the Quran. And this is Asbab al Nuzul, the book of Asbab al Nuzul by the Imam al Wahidi. It says that each time the Prophet he went to go out, he heard a voice saying, Oh Muhammad. And whenever he heard this, he used to flee. So you're a Prophet. Each time he want to go to do shit, Allah, he want to deliver him Quran, but Muhammad, he run away. What do you think? Why Allah want to deliver Quran only when Muhammad want to do shit? Hello? Hello? What do you mean, hello? What do you mean, hello? I did read for you. Yeah. It says here in front of our eyes, everybody is reading, that each time your prophet want to go out to do poo, poo the angel of Allah or the voice of Allah come to him. Supposedly, this is the angel of Allah, Jibreel. And he said to him, Oh, Muhammad and Muhammad, he ran away. But Allah want to give him Quran. So I just gave you a proof that Muhammad received Quran each time he want to go out to do poo poo. Why you are laughing? Can you let me open a joke? 15 fast, 14 Don't change the, don't change the topic. Touch. Don't change the topic. Leave it out. Leave it out. Shut, shut, shut. I want to prove to you. Just shut up, idiot. He gave me a headache. <laughs> you want to give me, bro? You know, Jesus is holy in the Quran, Muhammad is a scam in the Quran. An open license for sin. The Muslim, they lie, they say that there is a Pope once upon the time he was given a license for sin. And by the way, I did search this and it, it found turned to be a big false lie. And but the fact it is Muhammad is the first one who received an open license for sin. I call you, I call you, and I want to challenge you. Yeah, right. Changing topic like a monkey. What kind of a prophet he receive his Quran when he is doing poo What kind of a prophet Allah give him? And, and by, by the way, the most funny thing about, about the Quran. When Allah, he says, may Allah forgive your sin. Who is the one is talking? I mean, this is stupid. If Allah is the one is talking, how in the world he says, Allah may forgive your sin. He is sure he will forgive or not. And who is the one is talking? If I am Allah, why I want to say that may Allah forgive your sin. This is a speech. Somebody else will do it. Making, making a prayer or dua to Allah saying, oh, Allah forgive Muhammad. But Allah himself saying, may Allah forgive your sin. That is the most stupid statement ever. You see, when Jesus, he said to the man, your sin is forgiven. He did not say, may, may the God forgive your sin. He said, your sin is forgiven. He speak with the authority for his God. Your God have no authority to forgive sin. So he says, may Allah. So Allah have Allah. Allah is asking another Allah to forgive sin. Who is the first Allah and who is the second Allah? The one is trying to call me. You have to tell me that you are a Muslim before I receive your call.
only Muslim can call me to give you a chance to get spanked I don't understand Barton okay okay this is you Barton okay how are you Barton let me call you Barton he understand Barton he understand Yes, Bartan, how are you? Yes, how are you, my friend? Explain to us what do, what Allah means that may Allah forgive your sin. Yeah, may Allah forgive you. Hmm. Means hmm. in the tafsir that He will surely forgive you. Oh, so it is sure He will forgive, but He says me. Yes, and this means. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you saying to me in the no, tafsir they are correcting it? Why Allah don't say Allah forgive your sin? Why He saying me? You are Arabic, my friend. Okay, not, uh, uh, you can call wait, me names wait, as you wish. Uh, you need to explain to me why he's saying me. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm. Let's 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 debate uh, uh, over another topic. First no, all, no. Bef before we change our topic, topic, before we, my friend, why you want to change topic? Just wait. Why Allah says me? If is he sure or he's asking another Allah? No, no of course not. Okay, so why he's saying me? What is the point of the word me? This means in the tafsir. You need, you know, so, tafsir, okay, so you are saying to me, that, okay, you are saying tafsir. to me in tafsir, it, it, it okay, let us make it clear now. You are saying to me that the tafsir is better, the book of tafsir is more clear than the book of Allah. Your Allah is made, you can make a mistake using the wrong word, and the no, tafsir is trying to correct Allah and says, no, he did not mean me, it's meant to say, I forgive you, so why he use me? Is that a, a, a mistake? Okay, look, 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 look. First of all, you want to debate about for issues now. Yes. I'm Let's not debating what for what for don't, don't, don't you know don't uh, Abdul listen. Let's I'm asking you a simple question. Why Allah use me? Is that a wrong? Is that a mistake? Let's debate. Let's debate. Hmm. Let's debate. Oh some other issues. Let's debate why 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 you want to change? Why you want to is, is that embarrassing that your Allah he says me? No, no. I tell I okay. you when you don't Okay, let me ask you that. how many times in the Quran Allah he used the same word? Maybe, maybe, wow. perhaps. Okay. Why he says that? Is your God Allah? Is your God Allah? Is God or he do not, he's not sure? Look, look, let's debate. Look, look, I'm, I, we are debating, my friend. We are okay, talking about the same topic. You called me to speak about this topic. You told me you do not understand, right? Okay, I, so I, I'm asking you, I, why I, Allah, why Allah, he keeps saying, uh, maybe, perhaps, <clears throat> why? Hmm? Yeah. Chapter 4, verse I, number 99, it I, says, maybe Allah, maybe Allah will forgive I, them. What, what does that mean? What does that mean? You what know that what does that mean? May Allah, maybe Allah that will forgive them. Read for me. Read. Don't don't change topic. How yes. Allah is the one is talking and he say maybe Allah will forgive them, please. How come? Okay. How come? How come that in the Bible God is like uh, in, see, in the, when he created the earth? You see, you, 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 want, you want to change topic? That he was that he that he that he that, he, that it says that he is like embarrassed that the people uh, it hurts him that the people make sense. How come? Mm, you, you know, look, okay, you see, you see, God is let me answer you. Okay, are you going to keep talking? Muslims they go in the panic the second they go to talk to me. The only way, the only way to avoid the problem is to keep talking and don't allow me to talk. So, are we going to talk both me and you or just to you? Look, 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 look. What kind of oh, yeah. God he say it may be Allah will forgive you read it with me This is a different verse. What kind of God? He says it may be Allah will forgive you do he knew the future do he knew the past is he is God who is the one is talking there? Okay, okay. Why didn't Jesus know when the hour comes when if he no, he knew in the same chapter He said it's new no read the holy chapter. He said it's you he did he tell you when it happened He tell you when it's going to happen or what Jesus is saying that that the hour is not oh, Hold on, you know, we don't believe hold on you don't explain to me my Bible I don't explain to you Quran. I show you reference from your books, right? I don't I, I, I don't, I don't give you okay. No problem the same the same the same chapter uh, when when the sun is when the moon is darkened the sun doesn't show etc when the person he uh, uh, one in the field the other one is in sleep the blah, uh, uh, all all of this description of the judgment day when all those things happen the judgment day will come so Jesus he knew same time listen 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 Abdul listen 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 in the Bible is not is not an hour it's a preset hour hold on hold on we as um, let me explain to you hold on do you want to answer or not. Do you want me to answer or not? Do you want me to answer or not? 
uh, not answering my question. I am answering so, your question. You ask me how come Jesus do not know either. You let me answer or you shut up. Okay, then tell me. <laughs> so now you want to change the topic okay here we go we change the topic what is the topic now I'm asking you I answer you my question you don't want to listen to me I'm asking you what kind of God of Allah he is he keeps saying it may be that Allah will burden you what does that mean how it may be yeah Habibi. look you didn't and you didn't don't tell me look answer me what kind of God he keeps saying maybe maybe Allah will forgive you what does that mean he's not sure Maybe Allah hmm? says maybe I will what, forgive you. Okay, what, what he mean that in chapter 7 verse 190, 129 that maybe Allah will destroy your enemy. What does that mean? He's not sure? That it was sure. He destroyed So how he says enemy. maybe? Why he's saying maybe then? Yeah, this because at that point he's not sure. This, this, is, this is a statement by, by Muhammad. No, this, this is a statement by, no, made by Muhammad the, the proving that the cannot be God because if, uh, if Allah is sure he will say I destroy your enemy. Here he said maybe. He's not sure. Christian, I have a question for you. <laughs> no, don't change the topic. What kind of God he say maybe? Let me ask you, when your God Allah, he keeps saying maybe, is that because this is a statement made by Muhammad or because your God, he liked the word maybe and is attached to it? Christian, let me talk, let me, huh? any, let me, let me, let me. Uh, I'm asking you, okay, chapter 17, oh. verse number 79, why Allah saying to Muhammad, maybe Allah will give you a, a, a rice place in heaven. Why he saying to him, maybe? Yeah, Habibi. Don't tell me Habibi. I'm not I'm not a gay, my friend. Don't tell me Habibi. I'm asking you why why you say why your God saying to Muhammad, maybe Allah will give you a good place in heaven. What does that mean? Maybe maybe means surely. Maybe means surely since when? In which language? In which language? In which language is that? In which language is that? So in the language, not here we go. Open tafsir. So tafsir is trying to correct your God. So surely or maybe is so okay, let me make it clear. In the tafsir, it says surely. In the Quran, it says maybe. Which one is of them we will take? Okay, let us do this. So, are you saying to me we should correct the Quran and change maybe with surely? Okay, means means explaining to you what the Quran means mm -hmm. is is it the same as correct? Okay, how how the scholar come to the conclusion that maybe means sure? Arabic is Arabic. You speak Arabic. I speak I Arabic. Maybe is maybe. Asa, Asa, and Yabatha Karabuka. Asa is Asa. Mean maybe. We hope so. I will use the same question. So you are you are trying <laughs> to take this principle on me as a Muslim? It's now take the same principle on you. How come that God in the Bible in the first chapter he is uh, saying that he was uh, like uh, he, it was heard to him he was heard that the people did sin. How come? Yeah, because simply this is this is a make, this is a present that God. No, hold on. Let me answer you. Here we go. You ask me a question. Don't let me answer. You see, I, I ask you a question. I, I I give you the time to answer, and then you change the topic right away. You ask me a question. The second I start answering you, you blah, 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 you go over me. Like let me answer you. Absolutely. God created Absolutely. us not to commit sin. This is the point. God created even angel not to commit sin. This is not His will. So we have a free will. So God, when He speak about that, He is sorry for us for we committed sin because this is not His will. We have a free will, not like in Islam. In Islam, you don't have a free will. Is that correct? No, it's not correct in Islam. You have okay. What if I show you? What if I show you that this is the truth? What you will do? Look. Okay. Don't don't tell me look. Don't tell me look. Don't change topic. Don't change topic. Here we go. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. A child, a child is born yesterday and he died today. He will go to heaven or to hell in Islam? A child is born yesterday and he will die today. Yes, he died today. There's many children they died like after one hour. He will go to heaven or he will do go to hell according to Islam. Allah Allah knows. Okay, what what does that mean? So he so you are saying to me, you are saying to me that doing sin is not a reason to go to heaven or to hell, right? It's not the sin. What? If I commit sin, I go to hell, or it doesn't matter if I commit sin or not. It does, it's, that does matter. Okay, so why you are saying to me, Allah knows a child who die, he commit no yes. sin, he, he is one hour old or one day old. Where he will go? Yes. Where he will go? Yeah, because of this reason, many scholars said that the people, uh, that the children, before they reach the age of uh, Bulugh, they will go to Jannah, mm. to heaven, automatically. The scholars who no say that, who is the donkey? He said that, give me his name. He go, he go, your prophet don't agree with that. They are donkeys who says that. They are donkeys. First whoever says that, whoever says that, he is a donkey. He is not learning this from the Bible, from the Quran. He's learning this from the Bible. Read with me. Here it says yes. that uh, Aisha, she said, oh, don't tell me, look, read with me, read with me. The, the, the hadith in front of you. Aisha, she said 
that there's a happiness for a child who is an infant he just died he is a son of the Ansar they are Muslims Muslim Muslim like your prophet so he mm -hmm. died and they went to his funeral and Aisha she said there's a happiness will be for this child and Muhammad he says well, no it might be the otherwise he might go to hell why because Allah created people for hell before he is they are born so Muhammad saying a child who is born yesterday die after one hour he might go to hell why look don't tell me look all, I, answer I, me I told to you I told, let me answer you, Habibi. Mm. Mm, Allah. First of all, I said to you, some or oh, many scholars said that all children will go to Jannah. According to and what? This, is that according to clear. Islam? Is that according many, to Islam? Many, many, because of the hadith that uh, when Prophet Sallallahu when he go to uh, Isra wa Mi'raj, that he saw Ibrahim and around him were children. Okay, mm. and these were the children he were dying. And other scholars, other scholars say the people of the Mushrikeen will go to Jahannam. Oh, no, no, not Jahannam, sorry. They will be tested on the day of resurrection, and it can be because of this. My friend, this is a question. Hold on, you see, oh, 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 oh. you're a prophet in the front of us. Don't tell me scholar, don't tell me etc. The hadith in front of you. A child, he is born yesterday, he died today. We went to his funeral. Yes. Aisha, she said he will be a bird from paradise. Muhammad, he don't agree. He said it might be the otherwise, which means he might go to hell. What do you say of that? I say he will be tested on the day of how he can be tested, my friend. He is dead, he's a child, he's a baby. He will be tested on what does that mean you will put him in the table you will put a, a scan on over his body he's a, he's a baby he will be he will be made uh, okay uh, show me the hadith show me the hadith it says that you will be in the judgment day allah will make you a man and he will test you show me that hadith do you have a, do you have something we have some principles no don't tell me principle don't tell me this allah. garbage you have to allah. show me something against this you have to show me that when you go in the judgment day allah will make you a man and will test you don't give me this garbage i show you a hadith Fight me with the same. Fight me with the same. Show me that your prophet said yes. He's he died as a child. As you see, my friend, just to show you how stupid what you just said to me. Let me show you how stupid what you just said to me. Your prophet he said that Allah created you for hell when you are in the backbone of your father. Have nothing to do with testing later. Do you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. Okay, so you are before you are born. He decide where you will go. Yes. Okay. So what away. testing is about? This is stupid. How he is decide where you will go, and you are saying to me he will be tested. The child he never commits sin. The so child he never do anything. Me, so you want to say to me that you don't believe that God knows before he created? Thank you very much. So this is not about knowing. This is not about knowing. This is Allah. He says Allah. He does. He decide. Don't you believe in Qadar? Look. Okay. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me get your busted easier. Hold on. 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 Let me get. Let me get. Let me get you busted uh, uh, easier. Do you know? Do you? Oh. Oh. Hold on. I, I did not finish, my friend. I will give you the mic. Honestly, I will give you the mic. Just wait. You're a prophet, he said, that you, a person, a person, a Muslim, I will, I will, I will, my friend, hold on, we are not done, please, oh, don't, don't. First of all, you didn't, you didn't answer my question. I am you answering your question, let us, let us finish, please. This is the question I'm answering you, please, don't, don't change the topic. <clears throat> Take some, to give you some okay, Listen, 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 listen. Okay. Uh, Adam, Adam, did Adam create sin? Because he he was he was a bad person, or because Allah he made a destiny for him. Adam, Adam created created sin because he made a mistake. Khalas. Okay, but isn't it Allah who decides for him the sin he will do? Yeah, isn't isn't Jesus according to your interpretation the one who who decides what the people will do, or is no, the doing of no, the people no, in control of no sins? no. No, we don't believe in that. We believe in a free will. Don't, hold on, hold don't, on. Don't change the topic. You can show me whatever you want. Here we go. This is Adam having a debate yeah. with Moses. I don't know how they met, but your your prophet, he saw a lot of allusion stuff. Read with me carefully. Read the hadith, please. Read the hadith. Who is the one who made Adam sin? It was Adam's sin. You said to me, you said to me, Adam made a mistake. You said to me, you said to me, Adam, he made a mistake. And this is a big fat lie because according to your prophet, Adam, he was a victim of your God. Read carefully with me the hadith. We know the hadith, yeah. Hadith. Read it. Go ahead. You, know, you can see it. Go ahead. You know, you know Arabic, you know English. Go ahead. Read it. Read it. Yeah. Moses said to him, uh, Why did you do it? And he said to it uh, to him, uh, Allah no, Allah had uh, that was the what do you call it in English? What? The, 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 the qadr of Allah. Okay, what is the color of Allah? Explain to us what does that mean? So Adam and Moses, why you don't read it? Why you don't why, why do you want to read it all of it? What is that what does that mean? Why you don't uh, want to read it? Why what the problem? I want you, I want you please, I want you to do me a favor, read it for us, please. Yeah. <laughs> read it. Christian, look. 
Please, no, don't tell me, look, please read it. I want you to read it. Please, I insist, I insist. I like to hear your prophet words. It's amazing. He's, he's wise. Read it for us. Are you are you ashamed? Are you ashamed of your prophet saying that? I'm reading you, Habibi. Okay, go ahead. The Prophet Sallallahu said, Adam and Moses argued with each other. Moses said to Adam, Ya yeah, Adam, you are our father who disappointed us and uh, turned us out of paradise. Then Adam said to him, Ya yeah, Moses, Allah uh, favored you this uh, with this with his talk, talk to you uh, directly, and he wrote the Torah for you with his own hand. Do you blame me for action which Allah had written in my fate 40 years before my creation? So Adam confuted <laughs> Moses, Adam confuted Moses, the prophet was him added. So what yes. does that mean? So what? We cannot blame Adam for his sin. You told me that this is the sin of Adam, but the fact is not the sin of Adam. Allah, he wrote his sin. You can't blame me for that. It's very clear. And your your prophet, he repeat that three times as usual. You know, he's a Trinity yeah. guy. So you yeah. cannot blame Adam for his sin. Ad Moses is blaming Adam for his sin. He said to him, before because of you, we are out of heaven. Adam, he said to him, this is stupid. It's not my fault. It's the fault of Allah. What do you say? <coughs> because you know this principle of law al mahfur you know this my friend Islam? my friend how how you say to me it's a mistake of Adam when it says this is Allah Allah he wrote his faith 40 years no. before his creation no. and he have no nothing to blame Christian Christian you don't believe that uh, you believe you don't believe in Qadr you don't believe no we don't Allah. believe no we don't believe in such a thing we believe the, the destiny we believe in as a Christians that we are born to die this is because of sin and the rest where we have a free will like we are born no, we are born believe? Which means there's this there's something we can't choose or refuse, which is death. Okay. okay. Now we have we now don't change the topic. Your Adam, he didn't yes. commit sin no. because but Allah you, he wrote his sin stop. for him as fate, uh, as destiny, 40 years okay. before his creation. So why you said to me it was the mistake of Adam when this is the mistake of Allah? So you want to tell me that your God you believe in doesn't know what people will do in this future this is not about, not about knowing don't change the topic this is have nothing to do with knowing this is have nothing no, to do you, with knowing read you, with me carefully read with me carefully don't be stupid now don't play games be honest it says do you play me it says do you play me for something written for my fate my fate 40 years before my creation so you can't blame me if god knows or not still we can still, listen listen i don't like liars i don't like liars be honest, be honest with me please do I look, uh, okay, I am asking you, you does it say there? Does it say there? This is about Allah knowing, or this is Allah about writing His faith? You are lying, we are who is lying, you my friend? Lying. Allah, Allah, He wrote His faith. Adam saying, You cannot blame me. What does that mean? What do you mean you cannot blame me? Explain to me why He said, Why He said, You cannot blame me. You are lying like this. Why He said, My friend, why He said, You cannot blame me. It is like. Any heavy, I told you. Mm. I told you. Yeah. This is this is uh, when uh, when Musa asked Adam, why mm. did you do it? Mm. Now says any, don't blame me for something what what uh, was written. Uh -huh. And like the motto, mm. like the motto, sit on your own things mm. and don't tell me these things. Yes? Really, really, like what, what, what own things? My things. You know, Ada uh, Musa's. He's saying it's you because if you are out of heaven. So he's saying to him, do you blame me? It's mean you cannot blame me for something Allah wrote for me. So stop lying, my friend. It's so clear. Allah wrote for okay. the people. Okay, hold on, hold on. You see, I like you. I like when Muslim they play they play games. Let us see how you can escape this one. Okay, okay, okay. Let us see how you will escape this one. Are you going to escape this one too? Listen, listen to this. Your prophet said the following, and I want you to read it too. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. You cannot say I don't believe in Sahih al-Bukhari, right? Okay, so read, read, caref read carefully, please, with me. Your prophet said it clearly that it's not what you do will take you to heaven, it's what Allah He wrote for you. Read, read, just like this. I, uh, read, read. So what? read. Okay, so what it's mean you don't have a free free will. This Islam is a stupid, and by Allah, look, read with me. I, I will read for you. Hold on, hold on. I will read. Don't please don't talk. Let me show respect to the prophet. He's talking now, please show respect. And by Allah, a person among you, please show respect, man. But a person among you. Uh, 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 may do the deeds of people of fire till there is only one occupant an arm bre breathe uh, distance between him and the fire but then what uh, uh, that is written by Allah is going to proceed do you see it do you see it my friend okay you are not you will not let me talk you will not let me you know you don't respect your prophet 
I ask you gently, I said, please let me read it. You know this hadith? You will let me talk or not? Are you going to let me read or not? No. What do you mean now? Because I want to ask you some questions. <laughs> Why you want to change the topic? So Islam is a stupid religion because at the end of the day, what is written by Allah will make you go to hell or to heaven. It's not what you do. Here we go. The guy is doing the work of hellfire all his life and then he's almost in hell and then what's written by Allah will take over and the opposite. And then there's a guy who did go the deeds of, of paradise and then he's almost going to enter it. But what is written by Allah will take over and he go to hell. What kind of a stupid religion this religion is? No, <laughs> Christian. No, will you allow me to uh, to ask you something? No, questions? don't ask me before you answer me. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. For you, let's say, let's say Islam is wrong. Let's say this Islam is not. Is no, no, don't change the topic. I want to let's show everybody how stupid this cult is. This is a yeah. this is garbage. Either you answer or you are ashamed of it. Explain to me how at the well, end of the day, of let us say according yeah. to this, according to this. Christian Prince no, no, is attacking no, Allah all his life, and then what is written by Allah will take over, and Christian Prince he will go to heaven. Explain to us how this will work. No, Allah knows <laughs> what the this is not about knowing. Don't stop being a liar. This is not about knowing. This is not about knowing. This is about faith. What Allah He wrote for you, you do something, and then Allah He wrote for you something else, and then Allah He forced you Allah, to. <laughs> Allah is the one who decides what will, what will happen. Yeah, just, just go. Don't call me again. I have no time for kids. Sorry, I'm not going to shout all night. Uh, obviously, everybody can tell you are now playing the game of lying. You keep saying Allah is knowing all. This is not about Allah is knowing. Stop being stupid. Where this is about Allah is knowing. All the hadith we showed you, Allah, He wrote the faith. The child, His faith wrote before. This is not about knowing. What knowing? Adam, He did not say Allah knows. Adam, He said, He wrote my faith. Do you blame me? You do you blame me? So you cannot blame me here, as you see, a person doing the work, the deeds of hellfire, and then he go to heaven. And the one who is doing the deed of heaven, he will go to fire. Why? Because what is written by Allah will proceed. So it doesn't matter what you do. It is what written by Allah will proceed, and this is the most stupid cult ever. And this is why you want to keep talking, 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 changing topic. Always when Muslims, they call me, they feel sorry for asking me the question because they cannot handle their own question. So the only way to run away is to run forward. Why you ask me the question if you don't want to uh, uh, stick with it? Do you Christian believe in destiny? We believe in destiny, but not the same, but not the way you believe in it. The destiny we believe in it that God He punished Adam and his children after him, so all they will die. That is our destiny. Our destiny, all of us we will face judgment day. Our destiny that we will suffer in this life. This is destiny, but we have a free will still to do an action, to accept or to refuse. So our destiny is how we will live and how we are, how, what, what misery we will face in our life. That we live in this earth, we are not living in heaven. So we have to work for our food. That's destiny. We get sick, we die. We get uh, cancer, we get diseases, we get illness, we get storms, we get a flood. We got snakes biting us, we get insect biting us. We get, we live in the earth, we don't live in heaven. That is destiny. But here it doesn't mean that God, he decides for you, the snake will bite you. God, he sent you to the earth and he left you alone. He says, okay, now you are free. You don't want to obey me? This is your destiny. You are free, go. But even in heaven, Adam was free. This is why God said to him, don't eat from this, uh, this tree. He was free to, to eat or not to eat. But according to your stupid story and Muhammad's story, Adam, he did eat from the tree because Allah, he wrote that story for him. It was the decision of Allah. This is why we laugh at Islam.
and this is why Islam proven easy to be stupid Islam is the most stupid cult ever yeah and we can do nothing about it so what you are saying to me that okay Allah he wrote my destiny that Christian Prince he will open his computer today and he will say uh, Allah is a false God how stupid is that and then Allah he is the one who wrote my destiny to say that and then Allah will punish me for he made me say that how stupid is that so Allah he made Adam sin and then Allah he punished Adam for his sin how stupid is that <laughs> what a comedy cult what a comedy cult my friend this is the most stupid religion ever so why you want to send people to hell and to heaven what does that mean why the Quran says go and do good deeds why the Quran says jihad and you get the like, old vagina it doesn't matter what you do as you see it's what Allah written for you is going to proceed all the lies of Muhammad here they get exposed even the child he is born he is not necessarily will go to heaven so he commits sin or not doesn't matter even Muhammad he said that if you don't commit sin Allah will destroy you and replace you with people who commit sin have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this hmm Read and love. I swear by Allah, brother. I swear by Allah, the one who is life, my life in his hand. If you were not to commit sin, Allah would sweep you out of existence. And then he would replace you with those who commit sin. <laughs> what a crazy God. He like it. If you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you. All the time I let you spoke to me and now I'm letting you talk, what a liar you are. Shame on you. As you see here, Muhammad, he insists that Allah, he like people who commit sin. If you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you. For Allah, obviously, he is the devil. What kind of God? He will destroy us if we don't commit sin. And he will replace us with people who commit sin. And the whole point is what? Just he would like to be an echo self God. Oh, he have to ask me for forgiveness. This is a game. This God is a lonely God. He is bored. He create people to commit sin. He forced them to commit sin. And the purpose of that, he liked to see you bowing down. Please, Allah, forgive me. Allah, please, I'm sinner. Please, Do he enjoy it. He love it. Do you see it? And then we ask the guy. What it does mean, he starts right away changing the topic. And he say, keeps saying, Allah, he knows, Allah, he knows. Allah, he knows nothing. Your God do not know even how the baby is created. Your God don't even remember which one he created first, the trees or the stars. Your God do not know how uh, 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 how the sun and the moon run. I mean, everything, what, what your God knows. I will give you one more chance. I will call you back. But don't change topic, please. And don't speak over me. I will let you talk. Anyone will make me shout, lose my voice, I'm not going to talk to you. I speak for long, I teach all day, and then if I want to, everyone, he want to do that with me, then I will lose my voice after two minutes. All right. Yeah, hello, my friend. So, how are you going to answer me, my friend? Go ahead. So, I'm listening. First of all, first of all, hmm. first of all, 
will you allow me to talk or not? <laughs> See, he is the one now claiming that I am the one is not allowing him to talk. Here we go. I'm waiting for you to talk. Go ahead. Okay. I want to ask you some questions. See, he want to change topic. Here we go. He want to change topic. So you, can, you so you want to answer. You ask me to talk. So all the time, all the time I spend explaining to you is gone in the wind. So you are asking me to talk, but you will not answer. Correct? No, no. Look. So I answer why ask why Allah will destroy ask. us and bring people who commit sin. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. okay. This hadith is clear. Allah, mm. God Almighty, mm. loves to forgive. Okay. Oh, really? God, God let me talk. Mm. Let me talk. Mm. God Almighty loves to forgive. Mm. God Almighty, your sins that you are doing mm. by associating uh, partners with Him, mm. yes, doesn't take from His uh, might anything. Mm. Yes. And He isn't someone who wants to, who waits. Uh, thousands of years and is angry at people uh, because he, they stole from him something uh, when they sin and then has to send his son and kill him brutally mm. yes to forgive the people their sins mm. but what did abraham do when he or for what did abraham came yeah or what did the people do before jesus when they sinned you see, guys, here we go. What what is uh, yeah. well, you 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 are suffering from flight of thought, my friend. You said you said that Allah loved to forgive, but Allah He loved to destroy the one who commit no sin. Explain to me that part. Why He would destroy me if you don't commit sin? I get your point that Allah loved to forgive, but this is very funny because He is destroying people who never commit sin first. Explain to us yes. that part. Yes, when you don't commit anything, if some people so, say, for example, the people in London, nobody commits sin. This is not this is not what they it's not about what people say don't lie it says if you don't commit sin Allah will destroy you it doesn't say if they say he says we if do you don't commit sin say, don't, don't don't lie about this hadith there, there's, there's, he will sweep you out if he, he, he sweep, will sweep what it was what what sweep you out mean destroying is like you have made something what bad, sweep you out mean he, what sweep you out mean huh what sweep you out mean that, that, that he will let you die that isn't that so he will destroy you. Thank destroy. you very much. He will let you die. So why he will let? Why he will kill you? Yeah, why he will he will kill any every person? No, no, every no. Those die. people. No, it says it clearly. It says it clearly why they did not commit sin. This is their guilt. So according yes. to your cult, if death. I don't commit sin, I am guilty. Yes, because but death, death, death is not uh, every time an adad. It's not every time. Uh, what do you call it in English? Uh, yani, عذاب, عذاب. What, what, uh, my friend you are funny I want you to answer me about what I'm talking about you you you, you are suffering from flight of thoughts why I will be the sweep out of existence because I did not commit sin what why that became guilt why Allah is angry for me he's not angry well, he so, why, so why he will destroy me I said to you Letting someone die doesn't mean or someone when he's someone. No, it dying. says he would sweep you out of existence. It's not about letting you die. This is not all. Everybody will die. He will. It's he will dying. sweep you out. He will destroy it's you. He dying. will kill you all in 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 one shot. This is what it says. Don't lie. Is this is not no. about? I will wait for you to die. No, don't lie. Don't lie, my friend. He will sweep you out of existence. Interpreting this hadith. And uh, saying like this hadith, your interpretation mm. is, is the interpretation. Where this is not my interpretation. It says because you commit sin, Allah will sweep you out. What sweep you out mean? Sweep you out mean mm. you will die. This is what sweep you out mean? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. So you are saying to me, Allah will let me die if I don't commit sin. What about the one who don't who, who, who oh, sorry if I don't commit sin? What about the one who commits sin? He will die too. Yes. So so why he will not sweep him out? Why it sweep out only for those who commit sin? If sweep as you said, it's just he will let you die. But everybody will die anyway. This is stupid of you to say. It says he will sweep you out of existence, all of you. Yeah. Yes, because the Prophet ﷺ is saying to people, if you, all of you, will uh, will not commit sin, mm. then I will sweep you out. Why? You will die. Why? Why? Yes. What? What is the problem because. here? Why? Why Allah is angry? Why Allah is angry? We did not commit sin. Why Allah is angry? In this hadith that Allah is angry. Where do you get this? From? Because you have. Because He will destroy us. I'll replace us with different people. Why He will replace us then? 
doesn't that doesn't mean that he's angry. <laughs> what, what does happen? That's a good one. So he is not angry, but he will sweep the people. So let me ask you: When the Quran speak about the flood of Noah, was was God angry from people and he sweep them out, yes. or he was happy yes. with them? Yes. Mm. Yes. Does it mean that every time he when he sweeps people out, he has to be angry? But it, don't you think this is stupid what? of your prophet to say? Because now you just admitted that That's because they commit sin. Hold on. In, in the flood of Noah, because they commit sin, God he sweep them out. Correct? Because they commit yes, okay. So now you agreed that you agreed that sweep them out is the same as the flood. So you were lying to me. He said that you, you will let them die. This is number one. Number two, if you commit sin, God will destroy you. But here is the opposite. If you don't commit sin, uh, uh, uh God will send a flood on you. Christian, Christian. Look, <laughs> look, you don't want to understand what I'm saying. Don't lie. This is I don't believe that you are a stupid man. Really, I don't believe this. Yes. I, I believe you, my friend. I believe your prophet is a stupid one. I have to be no, honest with you. Your prophet is certified stupid. Don't don't blame my prophet. Yes, because I will. I can begin to blame your Paulus. Yes, who, mm -hmm. was, who allowed you people to lie? Yeah. Okay, hold and on, hold on. So what? So what? Okay, hold on. Let me ask you a question. You mentioned Paulus now, right? Why your prophet never say the bad word about Paulus? Now, what does it mean when he didn't say it? But uh, are you saying to me Paulus? that your prophet is a stupid, ignorant, and, and you know better than him? What? What this is for logic? What, what you're talking? I'm about? asking you. How come you know that Paulus is the one who corrupted Christianity as you claim, but your prophet do not know that? Yes. Why? Do you know why? Because I have in my time there is a Bible now or if an, an evangelium mm. where Paulus. Mm. Is telling the people to lie. Maybe this wasn't at the time of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi there. Mm. Because the, Paulus, the Bible, he, okay, show me, Paulus show me the verse. To, to, show me the verse is saying, Paulus, he said, I want you to lie. I want you to show me that. Everybody will laugh at you. And the same time, I will show you from the Quran that you are a liar and your God is a liar and your prophet is a liar. Go ahead. Yes, yes. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> yes, yes. I will show you, Ya Habibi. No, you're embarrassed. Show me, show me. I'm listening. Yes, you yes, can yes. search Google. <laughs> yes, yes, we will Google it. Yeah, of course. I'm not. Uh, uh, Alhamdulillah, we have the Quran. No, no problem. Mind. No problem. You have the Quran. The, Which Quran you have? You have no Quran. Nobody have a Quran. Not even single Muslim have a Quran. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come, come on. You don't embarrass yourself. We will, we will go. We will go there. Hold on. Yes, Everybody will see. You know, now, show me, like show me what Paulus he said that would teach you to lie. Yes, I will. I will show you how do you want my help well <laughs> do you want me my help to tell you what you are going to say to me next he will say to me that Paul he said if my lies if my lies people they accuse him to be a liar so he's saying to them what kind of lies this lies is if my lies is about the glorifying God so what is the benefit for me so he is not saying I'm a liar he is saying you accuse me of lies but if my lies is not about me it's about the glorifying God so don't be stupid so he allowed you to lie where it says he allowed us to lie he said they accuse, they accuse him that you are a liar about god he's he, they are saying to him you are a liar they said to him if my lies about the glorifying god what is the lies so he did not say that so muslims you when you, when you say something when you say something you make you make yourself look really really very embarrassing and let me ask you now is paulus uh, you are the one who quote for me you are the one who quote for me from tafsir is it tafsir says that paulus is a messenger of allah what does it say? Hmm? I don't know this. I don't know. This what if I show you? Yeah, show me. Then okay. we will look about it, and then I will call you next time again. No, don't call me next time. Now, why next time? No, I, why next why time? Why next time? Next year? No, no, no. Next time? No, next year? No, next month? Right now, as we speak. Right now, as we speak, my friend. Here we go. If we go, okay. If we go and read the tafsir, which you know, uh, 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 you are a Muslim Sunni, right? Yeah, alhamdulillah. All right, so I will show you from Muslim Sunni Tafsir, so you will not say to me, I am uh, uh, I'm making things up. All right, yes, come on. <clears throat> All right, let us go to Tafsir and let us see what Paulus, who is he? Mm. Okay, mm. now before you, you know, Ibn Kathir, know, right? You know, Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir is known yes. to you, right? You heard of him before. We know Ibn Kathir. Okay, so Ibn Kathir is good for you or he's a bad person? Yes, of course he's good. 
but that doesn't mean everything what he says is right oh here we go so now he is not uh, okay he is uh, so he he is he is considered by you or he is not good well, what do you mean he's considered by me well, i'm asking you is he considered by you to be uh, uh, trustworthy or he's a liar yes, he's trustworthy but in his tafsir mm -hmm. watch out uh -huh. in his tafsir uh -huh. he brings some texts and afterwards he says this is a lie or this is munkar or like what you did uh where he said it is mursal and i don't believe that it is sahih mm. but you let this out yeah, to 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 lie to your people again mm. okay yes. okay hold on hold on hold on so mursal is accepted or not or rejected what if i show you right now that mursal, mursal? can be sahih yeah, well, you know you are the wrong person because alhamdulillah we know uh, ilm al -hadith i am asking you right now in front of everybody no. is mursal rejected is mursal rejected is principally rejected but with conditions no 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 don't tell me is it rejected or not look yeah, yeah Habibi. <laughs> so don't go there my friend you are nowhere even to get it close to me now let us go and see hold on let us see what 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 ibn kathir he said and by the way is not ibn kathir is saying that this is this is this is from the sahaba and the tabi'een so ibn kathir is just a reporter ibn kathir never was there never saw never heard he is just an idiot trying to defend the Quran. And now let us let us let us love together. Here we go. Here we go. Qala ibn Juraj, Qala ibn Juraj, and Wahab, Ibn and Sulaiman, and Shu'ayb Jabi. Qala kana ismu Rasulain. Let me talk, man. Don't make me hang up on you, please. Okay. Kana ismu Rasulain, al awwalain Shamun, wa Yuhanna, wa ismu Thalis of Bulos, wal Qariya in Taqiya. Do you see it? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Qala ibn Juraj. And Wahbi ibn Sulaiman and Shayb Qala Kana Ismur Riz. The Ulish, Talith Wood Bulus, uh huh. So, where did he did he you say to me that uh, uh, Ibn Kathir he say things and then he reject them? Did he reject that? <coughs> in, uh, Ilayk, Salun, Ayman, uh, mm. Let me check this tafsir and mm. we will answer it. Okay. Okay. What does that mean? Let me check this tafsir and we will answer. It. We will look. What does that I mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Tell me that we have to look at this full text. Okay. Yes, and then I have to. My friend, what does that mean? Okay. In the okay. Here we go. This is tafsir al Razi. What do you say about al Razi? What do you say about al Razi? Tafsir al Razi. Qal yeah, ismu Rasulain. اسم الرسولين الذين قالا إذ إن أرسلنا إليهم اثنين شمعون ويوحنا واسم الثالث بولس. The first two messengers, their name is Shimon, which means Simon Peter, and the third, the second is John, يوحنا, and the third is Paul, which is in Arabic بولس. So what do you say? So why you Muslims attack Paulus or Paul, saying he's a liar, he is a scam, he is corrupt, and your Islamic scholars saying that he is a messenger of Allah? No, why did they say he's a message of Allah? I don't know. You tell me. Is that your well, book or my book? Is that my book? Is that my book or your book? No, that, that didn't stand. It's a message of Allah. Don't lie. My you friend, the Quran is that uh, the Quran says, We are selling the Elaine. What's wrong with you? The Quran saying that. The Quran saying that. Are you saying the Quran is lying? Isn't the Quran no. says we sent to them no. two and then we string them with a third? Who is the one who sent no. to them two? Who is the one who sent the two? No, what I said to you, I have to read. I'm asking you, no, don't tell me you have to read it right now. Why you want to go on until next year? Who is the one who sent the two? Isn't it your God, supposedly? I have to check this. Abdul, who is the one who is saying here, we have name, sent, we when we first sent to them, who is the one we? Who is the one who sent those messengers? So first of all, I have to look if this I understand you have to look when we are looking right now. Who is the one saying we sent to them? Yes, boy, wait a minute. Who is I we? Who is we? Who is the one talking here? Is it shaitan? Is it Jesus? Is it Allah? Is it Jibreel? Who is the one saying we sent to them? Two messengers, and we string them with the third. La la la. This this la la la. This ayah, this ayah is talking about it's not talking about Jesus. <laughs> my friend uh, even even your interpretation it, saying that those are the Horiyin, the Hawarin of jesus of isa stop playing games and and the and the and the town is in takia 
is Antioch. So stop being a liar. Those are the message of Jesus. And now the Quran saying we send those messengers. Now I'm asking you, who is the one saying we? This ayah uh, is not talking about Isa. My friend, I forget about Isa now. Who is we? Who is the one who sent those two messengers and Allah. then he strengthened with the third? Allah. Huh? Everyone knows Allah. Allah. Are you sure? Yes, everyone. Yes. Allah. Okay. So why, as a, a two minutes ago, I told you those are three messengers sent by Allah. You said to me, no. What? I said I to you, said those are three messengers sent by Allah. You said to me, no. You said to me, this there stands that this is message of Allah. In this tafsir, I didn't. Yes, they are the message of Allah. The Quran confirmed that. The Quran talks about some issue, uh, something what is happening, happened, and you show me a tafsir. Well, I have to check if this okay. What tafsir you like? Let, let me show you what tafsir you like. You name form one for me. Name, name, no, no, no. I insist. Name a tafsir you like of your choice, please. What tafsir you like? What tafsir you like? Let me get you busted. Life and hot. What tafsir of your choice you like me to show you for this chapter? I'm not trusting anyone here. No. Then go. No. go. Just go. See, I gave you a chance, and you keep running away. And here we go. This is a proof that Jesus is God because if Paul. Is in the tafsir and Paul is in the Quran. Don't call me again. You are just a kid. Let your dad call me. Bring me a scholar. I'm speaking to you in your in your standard, in your age. Maybe you are 40, 50 years old, but still you are a baby for me. So you don't know what you are talking about. You attack Paul as the rest of you donkeys who do not know that Paul is mentioned in all your books that he is a messenger of Allah. This is how donkeys they carry books in the top of their back, but they do not know what the books is saying. You carry tafsir books in your back, but you do not know what the tafsir is saying about Paul. And when we ask you, where do you get this from? You have no idea. And you say to me, those are not the messages of Allah, of Jesus, sorry. First of all, you said not Allah. He did not even, they are belong to Allah. Same time, we go to tafsir, all the tafsir agree that those are the messenger of Jesus. And here, by the way, this is a clear proof that Jesus is God. Because if Jesus is a messenger, he cannot make you a messenger of God. Do you agree, people? If can Muhammad make me a messenger? No, he cannot. He's a messenger. He have no authority. To make somebody a messenger, you have to be God. God only can make people messengers. People cannot make people messengers. I cannot hire you to be a messenger unless I have the authority of God, which means I am God myself who make you a messenger. And you will notice here with me that Paulus or Paul is the most powerful messenger according to the Quran, which is sent by Jesus. And not only that, it says in verse number 12 that they raise people from death. And we tell you about your future. If we go to a very famous Muslim scholar, his name is As-Suyuti. What As-Suyuti will say? He will say the same. So those, they do miracles, which is Jesus as God, he gave him authority. How Jesus can make me resurrect people from death if he is not God? Okay, let us say God, he sponsored Jesus. He made them do miracles as Muslims they claim. How Jesus can give me his authority or his power? Is that something we can transfer? How they can resurrect people from, from death? The three messengers. Who are those three messengers? And by the way, this is additional proof that Muhammad is a big fat liar because in the hadith he said, there's no messengers between me and Jesus. So who are the those three? And all Islamic scholars agree that the city is Antioch. And all of us, we knew that the first place where people converted to Christianity, it was Antioch as a city. And this is where people, they call them the Christians. If we go to the book of Asuyuti, we will find the following. This is Al-Imam Asuyuti, one of the biggest scholars in the history of Egypt and Islam. He say clearly with no hesitation. Read carefully. Is Arsalna Ilayhum Ithnain Kal Balagani and Naisa Bnu Mariam Baatha Ila Ahli Korea Wahia in Tokia 
رجلين من الحوارين وأتبعهم بثالث. So he sent two of his apostles, and then he sent the third. And then وقد أخرج ابن أبي حاتم عن أبي العالية عن عن عن. We sent two, and they accused them to be liars, and we string them with the third. Let me make the page here, so we can show everything. That's better. <clears throat> And then they give us definition or the names of those three. Here it says, وَأَخْرَجَ uh, etc. etc. It says, وَأَرْسَلْنَا إِلَيْهُمْ إِثْنَيْنِ شَمْعُونَ وَيُوحَنَّ Simon and, and, and John. And the third was Paul. But every day I hear a Muslim, stupid Muslim, who have no uh, uh, education, who do not know what his books is teaching, attacking Paul day and night. And I don't blame them because the that he attacked Paul, Zach and Naik attacked Paul because all of them they are donkeys. They are not as scholars, they are copy paste. So your highest scholars praise Paul, say he is a messenger of God, praise Simon Peter, saying he is a messenger of Allah. And then we have John, he is a messenger of Allah. And then you say to us that those are liars. We don't believe in the book of John. We don't believe in the book of uh, 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 the writing of Paul. They are the one, the liars. They are corrupt as we hear. Stupidity versus, versus ignorance. We are Muslims. We are copy-paste nation. We never learn anything and we will never learn anything. Have you ever heard of a Muslim he learned anything? Even they believe that their prophet himself do not know how to write his name. In the book of Fath al-Bari, in Sahih al-Bukhari, he says, uh, uh, read with me carefully, it says here, وَصَاحِبُ يُسْسِ إِلَىٰ عِيسَىٰ وَعَلِيُّ إِلَىٰ مُحَمَّدٍ So those are the messenger of Isa. <laughs> how they are the messenger of Isa, and they can raise people from death. And not only that, by the way, they say that uh, uh, the apostle of Jesus, they said to him, you are asking us to go and teach around the earth, but we don't speak the language of people, of uh, those people there. So he said, don't worry about it, go sleep. They woke up in the morning, according to Islamic books, they woke up in the morning and everybody speak different language. كان اسم الرسولين شمعون ويوحنا واسم الثالث بولس وعن قتادة كانوا رسل كان كانوا رسل من قبل المسيح والله أعلم. <laughs> and this is the book of فتح الباري by Imam Ibn Hajar. فتح الباري في شرح صحيح البخاري. Volume number six, page number four six seven. Are we lying? No, are we showing the reference? Yes. It's not your fault that you are stupid, but it's your fault to stay stupid. I'm trying to help you, my friend. I'm trying my best to help you, but you don't want to be helped. You are just a stubborn. And you change topic faster than the water changing its direction when we open a hole in the sink this is how fast you change the topic they open a topic but they themselves cannot stand for it he is the one who spoke about paul not me as you see I never found a Muslim he knows what even is talking about. They do not know their books. They do not know our books. Yet they want to debate us. I wish one day I will find a Muslim he knows what he's talking about. It's just, it's a wish. You want to debate about my book? Yeah, this guy, he want to debate about my book. See, they don't want to debate about their books because their books is, is stupid. Let us debate about your book. And why you want to debate about my book? <clears throat> Are you stupid or what? Let me let me get you busted again. The second you say my book, according to you as a Muslim, that's mean you are denying Allah. 
because according to Allah, this is the book of Allah. So is it my book or the book of Allah? <laughs> is it Allah? He sent Allah. He sent the Torah and the Injil. So are you saying that Allah did not send anything and he's a liar? I agree. Allah never sent anything. So let us debate about the book of Allah, the Torah and the Injil. I don't mind. The crazy Quran. Get Muhammad busted every second. All those verses in the front of us saying that this is the book of Allah. And yet the Muslim, they say to us that the book of Allah is corrupt. So what's my problem? Obviously, your God is a potato. Anyone can spank him and change his book. I have my books. I challenge you to corrupt my books. I have copyright over them. <laughs> your God, Allah, don't have copyright. Can't Allah even keep one copy of his book, the Torah or the Injil? And by the way, why they call him the Injil? How stupid is that to say when he claimed that Isa was sent only to the Jews? So he's speaking to the Jews, but his book named in the Greek language? Hmm? Well, I am doing the same. Here we go. Guys, look at this. Look how smart they are. Look how smart. Let me show you how smart. <clears throat> I'm showing you the sign of intelligence. Uh, Rizak, Riz, uh, uh, Rizgar, Ilt. Don't talk about Quran. You believe in the Bible and talk about it. Okay, well, I can say the same to you, you idiot. I mean, do you see how stupid you are? I can say to you, don't talk about the Bible. You believe, we talk about the Quran. Do you believe in it? <laughs> the lack of intellect and the maintain of a brain health. Too much hashish. Well, call me. Call me, call me. Prove to me I'm liar. Here we go. I'm waiting for you. Razak, call me. Give me a call. Call me. Give me a call. Let us laugh together. Get me busted. Go ahead. You see, your brothers, they are calling me, and here we go. My neck is getting red. Waiting for you. I laugh like a snitch. Oh, hold on. I should laugh better like the prophet he laughed. When he told a woman to give her boobs to a stranger, mashallah. The prophet, look how the prophet laughed. <laughs> the prophet. <clears throat> The prophet he ordered women her name is Sahila bin to Suhail so she said to him how in the hell I'm going to give him my nipples <laughs> and look what the prophet he did he said he did he did laugh until his teeth came out by the way your prophet as I know he don't have teeth I don't know what teeth they are going talking about hmm? Hmm? What do you say? Your prophet ordering women to give their boobs, and you don't want me to laugh? Did your mom give her boobs to the neighbor? There's a big sheikh, he gave a fatwa in Egypt. He is the head of the Islamic hadith section, the dean. Of the hadith science in the Al-Azhar University he gave a fatwa that a woman she have to give her breast to any stranger he walked by the Egyptian the Muslims Abdul who are ignorant they do not know what their prophet did teach they weren't so bad upset what my mom she will give her boobs are you straight stupid are you what <laughs> this is what the prophet he order not only that Aisha she order her nieces 
and the daughter of her sisters and her sister to give their nipples to anyone when I enter upon her. So if you want to see Aisha in the time of Aisha, you have to go through the secretary and you will find a bunch of women, their breast is coming out, boing, 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 and you have to suck their nipples 10 times in 10 different days until you are satisfied, not just to suck and go. You have to put your head there until you cannot take it no more. And then you go home. You are not ready yet to see Aisha. Then you come in the second day. And then you have to do it the third day and the fourth day. And by the way, this is what's going on. But sadly, the goat ate it. This is not only a hadith. They might say to you, oh, this is a hadith. We don't accept. This is what's going on. If you remember, there's many reference about the breastfeeding for adult in the, in the Quran. As an example here, Aisha, she speak about how the goat was sent by the Jews. This is a Jewish goat, I think, trained by the Jews, Netanyahu. Uh, Muhammad was dead, and the people are busy with his death. The goat, meh, praise be to Allah, she came into the bedroom of Muhammad, flipped Muhammad from his pillow, because the Quran was under his pillow, and she started eating the yummy Quran. And then she ate what? Look what she ate. I mean, from the whole Quran, she could not find something better to eat. What a filthy goat. The verse of stoning and the breastfeeding for adult 10 times. Breastfeeding for adult 10 times. Must be a true story. I believe it strongly that God did not eat the Quran. I believe this is the Muslim. They are the one who ate the Quran. They found that this is a stupid book, so we have to deny it. We have to eat it. <clears throat> Yes, Reza Kar, how are you? Hello, how are you doing? I'm all right. What do you want to say to us, Reza Kar? Okay, uh, thank you very much for answering. And I want to start in the name of Allah. I am a Muslim and I am proud of. In the name of Allah, what does that mean? Yeah, it means in the name of that entity who created all of above and all of all of the no, 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 no. You see, my friend, when you talk to me, focus, you know, and be careful what you say to me because it's going to be used against you in the court of law. Use it in the name of Allah. What the name of Allah mean? In the name of Allah, it means in the name of the creator. This, are you saying to me the word Allah mean a creator? Can you repeat it? Are you saying that the word, can you mute you too, please? I hear myself twice. Sorry, can you hear me now? Okay, I'm, I hear you. I'm saying, are you saying that the word Allah mean a creator? Allah is a name that God gave us. To okay, what him. the word Allah mean, my friend? I'm asking you, what is the word Allah? You said in the name of Allah. What Allah mean? Okay, so we have a definition for Allah in the Quran in Surah Al Ikhlas. This is not the definition. Allah, I'm asking you, what Allah? This okay, is not the question. This is not the question. This is not the question. My friend. Okay, I, and not, I'm explaining. Not the question. No, no, you are, I, I, there's no need to explain. What is the name of Allah mean, please? Name of Allah, everyone has a name, and we have a okay. Creator. I have a name, you have as a name, Muslims, okay. Okay, we okay. Have a my name is a Christian, Muslims. that mean I am a, a believer in Christ. What someone, Allah mean? For example, what, what Allah my mean? name is Rizgar, and people call me Rizgar. This is my name. What is Allah mean now? You see, we are just going in a circle for 15 minutes now. We said nothing. What Allah means? You know, this is a bullshit question because you are asking me a question. Okay, guys, you don't... Be, my, okay. be my witness, be my witness. The guy, he just said, I'm asking about Allah name. He used the word bullshit. Do you see how much Muslim they respect Allah? Listen, I am asking listen, you, because, I'm not because, insulting your God. I'm not you know, insulting you. Not, I am God just asking you, you, my friend, I'm just asking you what Allah mean. And you say to me, this is bullshit. Thank you very much. So no, I repeat the question. I repeat the question again. Away. No, we are not. You are the one is running away. What okay, Allah means? You said now, when you say to me in the name listen, of Allah, the listen, what I Allah mean? mean? What Allah mean? What the word Allah mean? Okay, so listen carefully. So when when I talk, uh, everybody lets everybody listen, and then if you have any questions, let me answer the questions. So you are asking a question: What Allah means? Hmm. Why do you need to explain the meaning of Allah? Because you say you're God, Allah. So are you saying to me that you're Muslim, you worship a God, but you don't know even what his name mean? We know, we know the meaning, but we don't have to know what you're asking the question. Okay, you just said we know the meaning, so give me the meaning, please. Okay. And give me okay. reference. And give me okay, reference I where will, we can find the meaning. Okay, I will explain. Allah, it comes from the Ila. Ila, it means... There is no God except one God. Okay, so let, let me ask you here. God. Just don't don't be stupid, my friend. 
Is that yeah. something coming this from is, a scholar, or this is something? Are, is that something you read from the internet? Hold on, hold on. Here, here, here. We speak in academic way. Is that reference from your prophet saying that? No, you know, I'm, I'm not referring to anyone. Okay, I'm so while you are getting me an answer, is not Islamic. I want an Islamic answer. What Allah mean? Okay, so let me let me tell you. I am not an Islamic scholar. I'm mm. I just so, a Muslim. So so you are calling me to be what? To be to be a watermelon? Why you are calling me? If you are not an Islamic scholar, so why you want to talk to me about Islam if you do not know Islam? Okay, because I I am here to refute to you that Jesus is never God and Quran even Bible doesn't say so. Mm. Okay, let us ask you here. Why you are saying to me Jesus is not God, but yet you are saying to me that Allah is the Creator, right? Yes. Okay. So, isn't it the Quran says that Jesus is a creator? No. So, there's only one creator in Islam? Yes. So, how chapter 23, verse number 14 says Allah is the best of the creators? Okay. So, Allah is the best of the creators. So, we have creators, for example, all of us, like those scientists, their creation. Like no, those no. This is stupid things. of you to say, my friend. The Quran gives definition who is the creator. Creator is the one who can give a life and the Quran says it clearly those who ask for their help But yet they cannot even create a fly so in okay. order to be worshipped in Islam in order to be worshipped as God get, Where did sorry? Where did you get the definition of creator? It means those who gave life. Where did you get the definition from the Quran? Are you against the Quran? Quran, Quran doesn't say Quran doesn't say those who gave life creator It means someone who creates. Are you sure something? Yes. Okay, here we go. Let us go to the Quran and see. Chapter 22, verse number 73. Read the verse for us. I don't know because I don't have Quran with me right now. I, I don't care. Look at the screen. There. You can mute you can mute YouTube, but still you can see it. Look. Okay, let me see if I can see it. Hmm. Okay, can you read it? Let me see. Okay, come on. Go ahead, read it. Where is it? It's in the screen. Is it uh, chapter 7, verse... No, chapter right. 23 22 verse number 73. Okay, was okay. Where's the English? It's in the front of you. Uh, verse 73, right? Mm. Okay, so mankind's team, uh, similar to cheat is coin, so pay you heed to it. Lo, those whom you call beside Allah mm. will never create a fly, though they combine together for the purpose. Okay, so let mm. me explain this for you. Mm. So here, even uh, even those who claim uh, like mm. associates anything with God, even mm. they cannot create a fly. Mm. So what so, is what is the point to worship God? If they cannot create a fly, you cannot worship them. So if they create a fly, they are God. Okay, who created a fly? Okay, so thank you very much. So the creator is not somebody create a table or TV. Okay. If somebody can okay. create a fly. He can oh, give he, life. So he, you he, asked he, me he to give you a hold on. Don't be stupid with me. I don't like the kids. Here, the verse is so clear that if you can create a fly, then you can worship them. So, okay, let me ask you. That, you said who can create a fly. The Quran says that Jesus created from the mother bird. Okay, let me let me refer to this one. Hmm. So this is very interesting because I am more interested in your Bible, in your book, than because... I want to debate you. I don't have a book. Bible. What book? Okay. We're talking about Let the book of Allah. Are you are you saying the Bible is my book or the book of Allah? Okay. So first of all, that was a very good question. Please let me let me come, let me just explain what do we mean book of Allah, and then you. No, before we go to the book of Allah, you need to explain to me how Allah makes such a mistake. He compare himself to the creators if he is the only creator, unless we accept there's many creators and he is one of them and he is from the same kind. You compare so yourself, you compare to yourself, okay. you compare yourself if you are from the same kind. You don't compare yourself to a human. Okay, let me explain, but you are not listening to explain. I'm listening, go ahead. Great. First of all, when God talks about Injil and Torah in Quran, this, this is another not, question. This, this is another question. When Allah He said, I am the best of the creators, how He compare Himself to the creators if He is not from the same kind? I don't compare between apple and a camel because apple is not a camel. To, in order to compare, I have to order between an apple and an apple. So I say this okay, apple so bigger than this apple. Now, your God, Allah, so when he said he is the best of the creators. I am I am not your brother. You are a pagan person who kisses stones. I'm asking you. Okay, you, 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 when your God, he says, listen, listen. Okay, your God said, I am the best explain. of the creators. So God talks about flying Quran, mm. this is the, the tiniest thing. For example, God gives you, if you can... 
creator fly. So mm. this is not it means creator, it means someone who gives life. God gave God gave this example for those he busted and they think they can create everything. Say, okay, if you can just go and create a fly. Mm. This is just a sample. This is not something say, okay, God tells you mm. if you can create because I'm a creator. Is that the interpretation of you or this is the interpretation, of, is the interpretation of the scholar? Yeah. Suddenly you became a scholar now. Can we go to the interpretation and get you busted? Okay, don't go to the interpretation. <laughs> okay, no, okay no, hold on, hold on. Okay, no, I will let it go. I will let it go. When Allah, He no. said, I am the best of the creators, Allah is comparing Himself to mankind. Look, you are going to the interpretation. Interpretation is. I not am not going to that. interpretation. So I'm talking to you, Abdul. To when country. Allah, He said, you I am the best, the shut up. You are going to tafsir. Listen, this is tafsir. Tafsir is someone who. Who wrote these tafsir? So why? Okay, are, someone who wrote the tafsir, are, guys. Someone who wrote the tafsir. tafsir, guys. Well, someone who wrote the tafsir. The tafsir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for so, the information, my friend. No. Someone wrote the Quran too. Okay, so but this is not God. You know what? Everybody can write. Okay. Everybody can write. Everybody can write. Okay, hold on. What so is, is what is your what, is your what is your education? What is your education? What's my education for this? No. What is your education? You what what is the, do you finish school? Do you I'm studying master's degree right now in America in California. I'm That's college. wonderful. I have a I have, the only degree I have is a driver license. Now I'm, I'm going okay. to ask you, according to your knowledge, if somebody says I am bigger than this, can I compare myself to something is not from my kind according to language, or I have to compare myself to something from my kind? What do you mean? Can you explain? When that? I say I am the best of the creators, I can say that if we, all of us we are a human. But I cannot compare myself to to a bird, right? Okay, so for example, if I if I say if I say I am the best creator, mm. it means, for example, <coughs> what you don't have to connect the creator. It means if someone who creates something live. My friend, so, I'm asking you a simple okay, question. Listen, when listen, you compare when, between when two someone, things, can God compare Himself? I'm asking you. You Muslim, you say we cannot compare God to a man. Yes or no? Of course you cannot. Okay, so how you are saying to me your God comparing himself to a man? A second ago you said to me, the one who created TV. So your God Allah, he said, I is the best of the creators. Is he comparing himself to man? No. So here he says, my actions, my creation is the best of the creator. That is the best of the creation you create. For example, Let's say God created human, God created live things. Mm. But when humans create a phone or when humans create anything, you cannot say I'm the best creator because always there's the best creator who is God. So that's why, that's why. Okay, so, you, so you are saying to me in Islam, Allah, he admit that there's many creators, but he is the best. Of course, there are many creators. A creator of a car is a okay, creator. A creator but, of a phone okay, is a creator. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. So, according according to you, if somebody, he created the car, he is a creator, correct? To the car, yes. Okay, can you show me a verse in the Quran saying so? That if somebody creates something, not necessarily given life, that will make, make him a creator. Can you show me anything support that? I show you a verse saying, Allah saying, if they create a, a fly, you, you worship somebody, you can't even create a fly. So if they can't create a fly, okay, you worship them then. Now, show me something, prove to me what your point is saying. Okay, but the, the, the thing is, uh, those who don't believe in Quran and those who don't believe in God, they say, okay, show us in Quran. Quran is not a book of everything. Quran is the book of sign. Ah, you know, yes, sign. Sign. What sign? Yes. What what do you mean okay. sign? What sign? Like what? Sign, it means miracles and what, sign. What is the miracle in the Quran? Can you show me one? For, okay. For example, when God says, when God says, <laughs> we created human, we created human according to the stage, when it talks about the embryology, mm. this is the sign for those who don't believe in Quran. Okay. So God gave this information. Read for me. Read for God. me that verse so we can laugh together. Go ahead. I don't memorize. I don't memorize this chapter. Words, the this same verse we are talking about, Abdul. What's wrong with you? Are you blind? Chapter twenty-three, verse number fourteen, is the same word. Or the same chapter speaking about what you Muslims call the embryology. So, uh, uh, did your prophet say the truth there, or this is God making mistakes? Which mistake? Mist this is mistakes. This is stupid. The Quran says it clearly that Allah He created you from a blood, from a sperm. The sperm became a blood. And then the blood became a, a, 
uh, a loom and then the loom became bones and then the bones we closed them with flesh okay so where did you get this is mistake well uh, uh, can you show me any scientific as long as you said you study a master degree in california and i like california so can you show me any site from california from your school saying that in the stages of burial your sperm would transform to be a dead blood and then the dead blood became a loom and then the loom became uh, bones and then the bones became we closed them with the flesh can you show me that okay if if i if i give you a name of a scholar do you believe it or not my friend give me give me scientific website not muslim stupid website fabricating things is, the okay. verse in the front of me okay. the verse okay. in the front okay. of me you see look how hypocrite you are when I said to you, I, let me read. Read. I'm not, I'm not a hypocrite. Okay, so then show me. Have, show me what okay. science says. Show me what science says. Okay, so there's a professor. His name is Keith Moore. We heard about him. He did not say this is the uh, Abdul. This is a stupid story. Show me where Keith Moore. He said that the sperm will transform into a congealed blood, and I will make you an me in my chat. Great. So I'll show you just a minute. But mm -hmm. just until I will shake, let 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 me say. To all the audience, to those who listen to us, so there is a professor, the highest, the highest degree in in Toronto University in Canada. Mm -hmm. His name is Keith Moore. Yeah, His and we got and we got Moore. all those slides busted, my friend. This Keith Moore, they invited him to Saudi Arabia. They gave him false translation of the Quran, false translation of the verse, and he never said what you are saying. This is a mistake here. Okay, well, this is a this is a Muslim propaganda. The guy he went to Saudi Arabia for 15 minutes. For 15 minutes, he got his check and he came back and he is he's living rich because of it. Now find me scientists. Find me scientist. Find me scientific. Have nothing to do. Oh, shut up. Hold on. Find me. Find me a scientific website explaining. My friend, here we go. Show me any. Show me anyone will say in the world that the sperm became the blood, and then the blood became a loom. And then the loop became bones. Show me. Show me even Keith Moore, like your guy. Show me he's saying that. I would love to with you. Okay. You don't have to love. Hmm. My you friend, have I, love I, have a, I have two books re refuting those stupid lies. And Keith Moore, he never said, oh, oh what the Muslim they say. They told him that the Quran says here like a leech. <laughs> and he said, okay, well, the, the fetus uh, became, looked like a leech. That's all. But the Quran doesn't say the word leech. The Quran doesn't say like a leech. The Quran says that the sperm transform into a congealed blood. So you did lie to Dr. Moore, gave him false translation, and here we go. We got you. Now, let me let me let me read it for you. Mm. <clears throat> so here, uh, everybody, everybody who listens, there's a book by Keith Moore. Mm. is about embryology, mm. and this is his book so if, if you say if you say they showed him a wrong interpretation he's a scientist he's a doctor my friend he, doesn't he don't speak he don't, he don't speak arabic he don't, to go and check. he don't speak you arabic give me give me the link give me the link i'm reading from i will post on the screen so everybody can laugh with us give me the link please can you give it give it to me okay but the, the thing is i'm okay let me let me find you so if if i share with you if i share with you the link can you can you get it sure just uh, okay. uh, give it to me in text, please. Okay. So, so this is Keith Moore is talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, nice to meet you, Keith Moore. This is the video. I can play video, my friend. So this is a video. What 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 else? No, I give do? me. No, give me. I saw it before, but we can't play it here because they would claim copyright over it. Okay, so, so you have me, to give me, me an article. In give me an article. Case, me and we it. saw this video. We saw it many times. This is chip. It doesn't say what you are saying. They told him. They give him false translation that this uh, the, the, the the sperm will became will became like a, actually the word the sperm disappear, and then they said the drop drop, and then became like a leech. So they took off the word the sperm, they make it look like a leech, and they are they told him this is what the Quran is saying about the embryo how the egg attached itself inside the, the womb and became a leech but the okay, whole doesn't why, say why why can't you why can't you just uh post the link i sent it to you he is talking my friend my friend we know the video it's a stupid video it doesn't say what you are saying I, I told you what it says it says like a leech okay i'm saying i am not i am not a doctor okay let I, me I ask say, you okay, let, let me ask you does the quran says like a leech okay 
let me let me tell you i'm not a doctor i don't care i don't I care think, you are the one who I mentioned think. this topic don't run away i don't care i challenge you you said to me dr moore dr moore he is a person they did lie to him they gave him false translation and based on the translation they gave him he was saying what he said but it's a lie the book in the quran in front of us no not even a single muslim translator he translated as a leech can you show me one he said leech okay but you know what Translators is not experts in. I don't field. care, my friend. Okay, can you show me interpretation? Say a leech. It's a, it's like, a, <laughs> right? My friend, I do not need, I do not need, I do not need uh, for me translation. I am an Arab. This is my first language. Okay. Now, let me ask you do you accept your prophet giving interpretation for this verse or no? Of course. Okay, so you will not say your prophet is being stupid if you don't agree with him. No, you are stupid. Don't don't talk about Prophet Muhammad. I did not stupid. say he's a stupid. I said you will not say he is a stupid if I, if I of show. Of course, him. I'm not saying this. Okay, you will not say. You promise me. No, I'm not. Okay, swear by swear by fig. You will not do that. No, if you give me if you give me a hadith. Swear, hadith swear by the fig. Listen, swear listen. swear by the swear by the fig. You will not call your prophet a, a, a stupid. Listen to me. I am I am not an expert in hadith. Hadith, if you compare hadith to Quran, I am believing in Quran as a word, complete word of God. If well, this is what the Quran is saying. It's an agreement. It's an agreement. It's an agreement. It is an agreement with the Quran. Don't tell me I'm not an expert with the hadith. You are a Muslim. The Quran okay, is, say, Islam say, is based say. on the hadith too. You cannot say I'm not expert. I don't care. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari and this is Sahih Muslim. So which means it is not a lie. All right. So read with me what, what your prophet think, read read with me what your prophet your prophet explain the hadith for us explain the verse for us so do you know do you understand the Quran better than your prophet of course not okay your prophet he said when a drop of semen remain in the womb for forty or fifty days or forty nights do you agree okay. do you agree with your prophet's statement so hadith it means someone narrated from Prophet Muhammad right. Listen, right or wrong? Get lost. Right? Isn't it the Quran is narrated to from the Prophet Muhammad to? <laughs> the hadith. Don't talk, me like, don't talk to me like a gay. What do you mean the hadith is narrated? The Quran is narrated to. Listen, listen. Hadith is narrated by someone. Isn't Quran. it the Quran it narrated to? Quran is narrated by Prophet Muhammad himself from Jibril. The, the, the angel Jibreel. okay who is the one who told this story to Muhammad it's the same Quran narrated from Jibreel Jibreel narrated to Muhammad Muhammad narrated to the Muslim Muslim they narrated the Quran the hadith is the same okay so let's 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 not jump to from topics to topics you are okay you are the I one who mentioned okay, to me listen, science not listen. me it's you who mentioned to me the science of the Quran I'm asking you is it accurate when your prophet he said that the sperm stay alive inside the womb Literally, in the womb of the woman for 40 or 50 days. Is that a stupid or a smart? Okay, continue. I'm asking you to stay with, with this one first. Do you agree that the sperm stay alive inside the womb for 40 days or 50 days? I'm not a doctor. I agree. With I don't care if you are a doctor or not. A second ago, you were expert with Dr. Moore. I, you can right, go right now and search in Google and tell me how long the sperm live. According to science, sperm live for five days. Okay, so let's 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 in a very brief way. Just I want to say, so I, I you told me okay, brief me scientific things in Quran, and I told you there is w one of the doctor you can refer to whoever is. Just get lost. We take a doctor or your prophet, Doctor Muhammad is higher. You have a PhD from Allah. You Muslim, you call me to get spanked, and I spank you with no mercy, even though I try to be nice to you as much as I can. I am not an expert. I am not a doctor. So why you are you are mentioning to me about the embryo if you are not a doctor? Why you open your mouth about something you do not know? Suddenly you don't want to talk about it. We asked you, show us where Dr. Moore, he said. You give me a video. The video is saying that he said, to, they said to him, they gave him false translation, that this is a drop is going to become like a leech. But the Quran saying this is a drop of a sperm, not far. And not only that, 
not only Muhammad here he make a pupu the Quran Muhammad he confirmed if you go to different hadith this is Sahih Muslim this is Sahih all is Sahih a drop of semen then a, a clot of blood and then the clot of blood became a loom and then Allah will decide the final shape and at the end of the stage the last stage male or female and all of us we knew that when the sperm go and activate fertilize the egg that's it it's decided already if it's a male or female it's not the last stage so there's no sperm will became something else sperm go inside the egg deliver the dna and disappear that's it act, 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 activate the egg deliver the dna of the man and then the sperm will not become something else will not become a blood the egg is going to grow it is the egg growing not the sperm growing strip it the sperm will stay for 40 and 50 days male and female and not only that muhammad he cannot keep his mouth shut and expose the abdul i feel sorry for you you have a stupid prophet you cannot keep his mouth shut look what he said you're a prophet claim that if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. If the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. <coughs> How this guy can be a prophet of God? What have an orgasm first have to do with boy or a girl? <coughs> anyway, guys, I actually I suppose to go for 15 minutes just to talk about those Abduls who they are trying to debate me. <laughs> Tomorrow at 3 30 p.m. We will be live on air Those who today try to call me you can call me tomorrow. All right uh, 3 30 p.m. We will be live on air again Please feel free to invite your your mom and your dad and let everybody see how stupid Islam is You say to me don't say my prophet is stupid. You are stupid. What do you tell me? What who is the stupid here? The one who says if you have orgasm first the baby will look like you or me Obviously, you Muslims are ashamed of your Quran, ashamed of your prophet, and you try to prove something by fabricating false translation, giving it to a Canadian guy. <laughs> you do not know what the Quran is saying, and say, "Look, the Quran is saying uh, uh, something agree with science." But it doesn't work with us. We are the Arab. We get you busted. This is the only way the Muslims they can. Make a point fabricating the Quran translation interpretation in order to make you believe that the Quran is a book of God, but doesn't work. And I'm very thankful that Muhammad is a person who cannot keep his mouth shut. Because if Muhammad did not keep talking, Muslim they can play around. But Muhammad he helped us, so I'm very thankful for Muhammad. Thank you, Muhammad. Talk much. Expose yourself, expose the Abdul, and let everybody laugh. What kind of a prophet this prophet is? The one who says such a thing, he must be taken hashish. He cannot be, he cannot be a prophet of God. This is not a prophet of God talking. This is a guy who is taking too much hash hash. Tomorrow, 3.30, we will be live on air again. Uh, what was the name of the first caller? <clears throat> I forgot his name. What was the first name caller, guys? The one who called me first? <clears throat> Before this kid. Additional to Abdul, all of them are Abdul. Don't don't call me kid now. Don't call me. Not now. I told you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bring your daddy with you. Okay, we are done for today. Uh, there's a guy I'm trying to find. No, not Karim, not Karim. The guy, this is different. This is not Karim. 
Batan, Tatan. Yeah, I don't answer. You know, you are spanked already. Okay, you want to answer? Are you going to answer me or you will say to me I'm not expert? Okay, are you going to answer me now or you will say to me I'm not expert? No, I'm 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 debating with you about Bible. Why you are running away from Bible? What, what Bible? So okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you are saying to me, I am the one who's running away. When you are the one who yes. said to me that the Quran proven to be the book of science, and you are the one who opened the topic, and you are the one who got your prophet busted, and you are the one who have no answer, and now you are saying to me, I am the one running from talking about the Bible. So are you agreeing yeah, yeah, now? Yeah. Okay, let us make it clear. Are, okay, we will go, Bible. we will go to talk about the Bible. If you promise me something, promise me that your prophet here he was making poo poo. Do you agree? This is just bullshit you are saying. Okay, if then you, you have to defend. Then you have to prove to me owner, what you why your prophet saying about. such a stupid lie. Why your prophet saying that if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy like like you. If you this, if, is, if, this is a stupid lie from uh, from you. And if you are a man of honor, let why why I'm lying? Here we go. I'm showing the hadith. Bible. I'm showing the hate in front of you. What is the lie? It says Sahih. I, okay, so I am I am a person. I believe in Quran. And I am not. I show you the Quran. Quran. No, you are a donkey. You are not a person who don't believe in the Quran. You are a liar. I swear by Allah, you don't believe in the Hadith. I am. I am not saying I don't believe. I am saying I am. I am definitely believing in Quran. So what I the problem? I am showing you Hadith. Showing Hadith. Agree with the Quran. <laughs> don't, don't so, about same it. time. You same time. The Hadith I am showing you is Sahih. Is it Sahih? Is it Sahih Hadith or weak Hadith? If, if you are a man, let's talk about don't forget don't about being a man. Do, do, you, do you want me to prove to you Bible. that I'm a man? My friend, your prophet was a man. Let's talk about Bible was your you was man. your prophet a man? Why you keep saying talking about if you are a man? Was your prophet it, a man? Because you are a liar. Why I'm lying? I'm showing you. Read. Uh, why you want to change the topic? So that was your topic. And you okay. So so do you topic. agree that your prophet is a liar? Yes or no? You are a liar. No. Did he prove me wrong? How he say if a man have orgasm first the baby will be like him if the women have orgasm first the baby will be like her I am not expert I am not expert I don't care get an expert for me get lost get lost who care if you are an expert or not you are a muslim you are calling me to debate me and this is sahih hadith so it's a proven to be authentic you're a prophet he said that not me I'm calling you to talk about the bible while you're in the bible why don't I talk about the bible First of all, this is a program to get Muhammad busted. We spank him every day. Secondly, I am an Islam expert. Number three, I don't have a Bible. This is the book of Allah. Go and call your stupid God Allah and say to him, what is the true Bible? So in order to avoid the spank of your prophet, you try to change the topic. I will not let you do that. I don't have a Bible. I am not God. This is the book of God. If you are saying to me, the Bible of the Christians will prove that the Christians, they have a wrong Bible. Show us the true one. Do you have one? Stupid people. You don't even have the true Quran. You don't have a single manuscript of the Quran. Even the Quran you have today, you claim that this is the book of Uthman, but there's no proof. No book. No manuscript. No original. No copy of copy, no copy of copy of copy of copy. And not only that, the book you have is recited according to Hasim, the father of Hafs. Do you know who is Hasim and Hafs? Fraud. I can show you tons of reference from Islamic books saying Hasim is a fraud and Hafs is a fraud and he is a thief. And not only that, any hadith is said by both is totally rejected. Not only Da'if, it's not Da'if. Da'if, because Da'if is good. Is accepted it is rejected it's garbage why because they are liars so we refuse their hadith we accept the Quran so you don't have the Quran you have a guy who came 200 300 years after Muhammad he is said that he is reciting the Quran according to according to according to and you take according to according to but even that one you don't have his book and by the way Muslims have no books there's no book. It's called Sahih Bukhari. I changed the Muslim to show me any Muslim to show me the original book of Sahih Bukhari. <laughs> there's no such a thing. <laughs> Al-Bukhari is the second book after the Quran, but they don't have the book of Al-Bukhari. So what do you have? 
they have people who claim that they heard according to according to according to according to Al Bukhari that this is Al Bukhari saying so. Al Bukhari is not an Arab. Yet Al Bukhari he was able to memorize all the hate of of the Prophet of Allah. Who can believe in this? Who can believe that there's somebody can memorize all of this? Letter, letter, letter by letter and word by word. What about Sahih Muslim? We don't have a book. It's called Sahih Muslim. It doesn't exist. They don't have Sahih Muslim. They don't have Sahih Bukhari. They don't have a Quran. So what do you have? Zero. They have zero. This is how stupid this cult is. And yet they call Sahih al-Bukhari authentic al-Bukhari, but they don't have al-Bukhari to say authentic. How do you call him authentic? They say the Quran is authentic, but you don't have the Quran. How do you call it authentic? What a stupid cult. Garbage in, garbage out. Oh, so guys, this guy, he know the Bible, but he do not know the Quran. He is not, he, he don't know the Quran, but he, he is going to show you the Bible. <laughs> do you know, do you see why people leave Islam after watching my videos? Do you know how many tens of thousands left Islam because watching my videos and because Muslims, they have no answer for the stupid religion of Islam? On the stupid teaching of Muhammad, how in the world this is going to be a prophet of God? If a man have orgasm first, the baby will look like the father. And by the way, good news. If any girl ever she marry me, I will not. I promise you, I will not have orgasm first. I don't want my son to look like me. That's disgusting. <laughs> now we. I was afraid to get married, and then my son looked like me. I don't want that. I mean, he will shoot me right away after he grow up. He will say it's your fault. But now, by the wisdom of the Prophet of Allah, who Jibril taught him, who Allah taught him, all what we need to do, don't do have orgasm. And then the child will look your wife. So Mary, a beautiful woman, and the children, they will look like her. Not like Christian prince, who look like Zakir Naik, A'udhu Billah. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. Hmm? What a stupid cult. So they try to change the topic, switch like donkey, like monkeys, from a place to a place to a place to a place. In order to avoid answering a singular question, who is Allah? They don't know what Allah means. They don't know how Allah is the best of the creators. Oh, creator, uh, create a car. Allah is saying, I am better than the one who created a car. Are you stupid or what? <laughs> you know, guys, I will tell you a secret. <clears throat> I was the best student in my classroom, the best of the best. Uh, but uh, there is something I want to tell you too. Just keep it between us in Google, YouTube, Facebook. I was the only student in the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> How you are the only creator and you say you are the best of the creators? How stupid that is. And how the Muslims they say you cannot compare God to anything. And then Allah, he compared himself to human as you claim. Your God, Allah Himself, He compared Himself to others by saying, "I'm the best of them." He is comparing Himself to them. Please don't compare. Allah is not like anything. Your God, Allah, compared Himself to others. What a stupid cult! Too much hashish. Hashish in, hashish out. I'm a Muslim. What's your name? I'm a Muslim. What Allah mean? Uh, why you are asking me? Because you. You said to me in the name of Allah. Go, guys, go and listen to the beginning of the conversation with this guy. He called me, he said, in the name of Allah. We ask him, what the name of Allah? Right away, he's in trouble. I did not even say hello yet. In the name of Allah. First of all, I'd like to say in the name of Allah. They are copy, copy, paste. They don't know what they are saying. What? Okay, what? Who's Allah? What the name of Allah means? He don't know. Who is Allah? He do not know. He's the creator. But the Quran says he's many creators. Muhammad never saw Allah, never spoke to Allah, never heard the fart of Allah. So how do you know who's Allah? Nice to meet you, Allah. You are really the best of the creators. <laughs> oh boy. Mm. When I say I am the best of YouTubers, I have to be in YouTube. 
I cannot say I am the best of YouTuber, but yet I don't have an account there. If I am talking about Facebook, that's stupid. The second you say that your God Allah saying that He is the best of the creators, either either you have to agree that He did make a poo poo. And by the way, by the way, the story here there's a behind that there's a guy who was the cousin of Uthman. Some even they say his he was his brother. He was the scribe Abdullah ibn Sarah. He was the scribe of Muhammad. And he said, you see here the false translation, they say the best of the create, but the Quran says the best of the creators. They changed the translation in purpose. So the guy, he was with Muhammad, and he liked what Muhammad, he said, so he said, praise be to Allah, the best of the creators. Muhammad, he said to him, put it there. The guy, he said, but what? He said, what you just said? He said, this is what, but this is what I said. He said, yes, this is how it came to me too. <laughs> And then Abdullah ibn Sarah, he said to himself, if Muhammad claimed to be a prophet and he was inspired by Allah, well, here we go, I am inspired by Allah too because I said that verse before him. And this is how he got Muhammad busted and he left Islam. The same as one of his wife, actually. One of his wife, Muhammad, she left Islam. She don't want to believe in Islam. She know Muhammad is a liar. Anyway, we welcome everybody to call us tomorrow. We will be here around uh, 3 30 be with us enjoy uh, being with us and i hope you guys don't forget to download my videos please uh ahmed mr ahmed you can call me tomorrow please our time is up for today so you can call us all the muslims they can call us all the muslims oh hold on hold on there's a guy is going crazy here There's a guy is going crazy. I want to see what's wrong with him. Hold on. His name is Mansoor. <laughs> Why Mansoor are not answering? Why? You said to me, answer, answer, and now you don't want to. Okay. Mansoor. Sarsoor. By the way, you know, uh, uh, when when uh, when the Kaaba was attacked by Sarsoor, which means cockroaches, the Muslim they say that this is a this is a sign of judgment day. So you Muslim, you are saying that a sign of judgment day that Allah will unleash Sarsour in his uh, house. So Allah get upset from the Saudi, he sent Sarsour to his house. So you are saying to me, if I if Allah get upset from me, he will send Sarsour at his house, cockroach. Me. Anyway, uh, if any Muslim would like to leave Islam after watching this video, you can contact me in Skype. You can go and uh, uh, add uh, Debate TV to your uh, Skype and you can text me. And uh, don't be shy and don't be afraid. There's thousands and thousands they denounce Islam talking to us. If you go and watch the videos in the last two months, three months, you will see how tens of Muslims left Islam life on air. All of them in the beginning, they fight me, they call me names, they, they get angry, and then they will leave. They will leave, no matter how long it goes. They will leave the Scott. All right? <coughs> uh... And you know the funny when a Muslim he tried to quote for us a verse from the Bible like this guy Razak, he like he like a verse in Act twenty two, but he forgot in Act twenty two it says that the Messiah was resurrected. He forgot that the, the in Act in the book of Act says it clearly that Jesus is God. So this this is how silly they are. This is how funny they are. Shameful people, very shameful. In the same book of Act 22, this donkey he caught for us from Act 22. If you go to verse number 36, can, can somebody post verse number 36? Just to show you how we get the Abdul busted. From the same chapter, he is posting for us, sorry, uh, Act 20, not 22. Act 20, sorry, it's my mistake. Act 20, 
uh, uh, act, act two the same chapter he is posting from it says that the Messiah in verse number 36 that the Messiah is God and he is the Messiah does it say that or not so he said in chapter he, he said he asked us to read from uh, from uh, uh, from act right but he don't want to read from act he's just quoting a verse from act the same chapter you're reading from is going to get you busted with no mercy so either you believe or you don't let me go I will show it this is the same chapter he quote for us in the text and this is verse number 36 therefore let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God has made the same Jesus whom you have crucified both Lord and Christ do you see it in the Aramaic both Jehovah and the Messiah Mashiach so this is how silly how stupid copy paste nation copy paste nation and then you will see then Peter said unto them repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ and you shall receive the Holy Ghost the gift of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus we do things in the name of God and that is our Lord so when you quote for us a verse you better be smart a little bit and go read the chapter because people will make fun of you and you will look so foolish the same as your God Allah when he said he is the best of the creators yes Mansoor how are you are you there Mansoor Mansoor, are you going to talk? Hello? Okay, Mansoor, take care. Say hi to daddy. Mansoor, he called me, but he don't want to talk, Mansoor. I mean, isn't it beautiful to be a Mansoor? The best of the creators? <laughs> uh, I am the best of the creators. A Christian prince what you create uh, compare between my creation and the creation of Allah let me show you my creator I created today I made an art uh, uh, of uh, uh, you know uh, like uh, uh, la la lo alaiko. What, what is that uh, like in Nigeria in my country they call it kalagadu uh, dadido what does that mean it's mean an art which nobody understand but Allah, his art is better than my art because his art nobody at all can understand. Like, have you ever entered like a museum where people, they have like this new modern art and you look at the art, you see nothing but like a cat was touching the screen with, with some paint. I mean, what is that? They say to you, this is art. Wow, that's amazing. This is exactly what Allah is about. Nobody knows. Muslim do not know. Muhammad do not know Allah himself do not know and yet he is the best of the creators who do not know how he created a baby Isn't it amazing So my friend next time <clears throat> When you say to me or you say to us you want to read Act 2.22. You better go and learn yourself what Act 2 speaking about. It assure you there that Jesus is God. Every chapter the Muslims they quote from, they only they take a verse. They don't want the rest of the chapter because it's very embarrassing to Islam. Either you take the chapter, you take the book, or you don't take it. And the funny even they quote from Paul when they say Paul is the one who corrupt Christianity. So Paul saying Jesus is not God. 
<laughs> Let us quote for you, brother. Garbage in, garbage out. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And don't forget to download my videos. They will not stay in my page. I will leave them for a day, two or three, maybe more. But they will not stay here. As you see, all the previous videos almost disappear. And this is how we make people download the videos. If you like to care, if you like to learn, if you want to teach your children, your kids, your family, how to spank the cult of Islam. Here, this is how we do it. So this is a Christian Prince was with you. And today we showed you how we do spank Islam. Every day. This is how we do it. Allah can do nothing. Allah is a false god, false name, false deity. Black stone kissing is pagan. Kaaba is a pagan. Islam is nothing but pagan. Coming out of paganism of the Arab. And we are the Arab here to expose such a cult. May the Lord bless you all, and until we see you soon tomorrow at 3.30 p.m., please be with us. Invite your friends. Take care and God bless. Take care.